<sighs> we are live, baby. We are live. Are you guys ready? Y'all recognize this? It's like my favorite song. Ocean man, take me by the hand, lead me to the land that you understand. Ocean man, voice to the corner of the globe is a real trip. Ocean man, the crust of a tan man and light by the sand, soaking up the thirst of the land. Ocean man, can you see through the wonder of amazement at the over man? Ocean man, the crust is elusive when it casts forth to the childlike man. Ocean man, the sequence of a life form embraced in the sand, soaking up the thirst of the land. Ocean man. Oh my god, I opened this up the first time and I'm like, I know this song! And on the uke! Ah, so I hope everyone is having a fantastic afternoon. Morning, whenever it is for you. I'm sorry this live stream is pretty late. Uh, I actually had a huge headache earlier, and I actually had to push the stream back. So for those of you who are waiting for the stream to start two hours ago, I I am so sorry. I just needed to make sure that I was okay. My headache is mostly gone. I still have a headache, but I think we're going to be okay. Um, I am going to say hi to some people here in the chat. I'm going to pull up my, I have my live stream on my second monitor right here, but I also want to pull it up, uh, here as well. I guess I don't need to, because I have the chat right there. Grim Stingray with a $1 donation. Thank you so much, my dude. I greatly appreciate that. Starting off strong with some donations. Thank you so much, man. I appreciate that. Yo, uh, and not Irish man, I did see that you did info dump me on Twitter DMs. Uh, since I skipped most of Day Shifted Freddy's, um, I'm gonna read up a little bit more after the stream on <laughs> Day Shifted Freddy's too. Thank you so much, Grim Stingray. Get some hype in the chat. Just so I have a little bit more context, um, like as we possibly get more endings of Day Shifted Freddy's 3. Uh, we'll see how, um, possible it will be for this game to demonetize my channel. But we'll have to see. Uh, what's up, Alyssa, Connor, Diesel Few, Christina, uh, W7J, uh, Dixon, Kevin, Anime Withered Toy Freddy, uh, Michael, Miguel, Maxine. All right, Druzy with that subscription. EJ the 21, Alan, Candy Cor Coron, Karen, Candy Karen. Okay, <laughs> Team Melodies, uh, Pasha, Albert. Nixon, uh, Wolfie Cat, Blueborn, um, Ewen, Nelly, Wolfie, we got a ton of people in the chat tonight, and it's gonna be great. Dave Shifted Freddy's, let's go ahead and start anew. Let's get this going, baby. Yo, thank you for that sub, Alyssa. Would I like to skip the Dave introduction? Um, no, I actually, no, I wanna, I actually wanna see the introduction. Okay. We'll skip it later. Maybe this is lore. Why, hello there, future entrepreneur. Congratulations on purchasing the start your own Freddy Fam Bendis Pizza Relocation Kit 1993 edition. Thank you for that sub. I am your friendly company representative. I am not a child murderer. <laughs> Freddy's is a chain of fast food joints that span the entire of America. At its pride, Freddy's had over 50 active locations, most of which would permanently shut down due to a suspicious number of toddlers going missing on our premise. Thank you for that sub. How crazy is that? I'm sure glad that I've had nothing to do with any of that. <laughs> You, good Me? Sure, are a young visionary who bought the Freddy's merchandising kit for a hefty fee of $12.50. Wow. That's the a first good price. The first step of setting up a successful Freddy's pizza joint is to choose a suitable location. 
and not just any cardboard box will do. Small enough that mysterious giant scuffles can't lay eggs in a restaurant undetected. God. Trust me on that one. Secondly, you need at least two rooms. A room for dancing in, and a room for bleeding out in. Don't splurge on buying a location. Also, save yourself a headache and avoid carpet. You'll thank <laughs> me later. <laughs> Next, you need three dance for your pizza. Oh my the god. The nearest dumpster will do nicely. It wants your pizza to have that distinctive Freddy's taste, don't you? Next, you'll need performers. Robots are expensive. So just buy a fat dog over for 20 bucks and call it a fucking day. <laughs> or, better yet, fish something out of the trash. Don't attempt to murder any kids that are buffer than you are. Don't put the rabbit's face on a goddamn pizza. Taxation is theft. Don't pay taxes. Don't drop kid any screaming toddlers. And don't <laughs> the facts during business hours. That's all I have for this day. Goodbye, future restaurant owner. And remember, you are the new face to Freddy, Bam, Ben, this pepperoni. Okay. I, I just like the references they had to the previous games. <laughs> Dave, thank you for that Why? sub. Hello there, future business owner. Hi. Welcome to your new Freddy's location. It's 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 the pizzeria simulator. Like all Freddy's locations, it's probably a complete dump. Yeah. What? Rest assured, with enough business savvy ethics, you'll be able to afford running water in no time. <laughs> Freddy's issued camera panel should now be sent to your restaurant currently out. The pressing is in there. Yeah. Most beginning Freddy's locations have at least two rooms, a dining area, and a safe room. This is your dining area. If you are lucky, you've had enough money left over after buying the place to afford tables. But I don't have tables, so I didn't have the money. What? The kind of lucky fellow would choose to start up at Freddy's location, eh? Don't worry, with time, you can upgrade everything. From okay. the floors, to the walls, to the bus on the walls. Am I basically playing Pizzeria Simulator? Dream big, think of better mass. Is that, is that what's happening right now? In this game? This is your safe room. It's an off-camera room where employees can smoke, complain about you without getting fired, and put on horrendous mask on costumes. Spring box suits are hard to come by these days. So, you're probably gonna be serving birthday cake in the bear onesie for a while. Joke's on you, Dave! I just stuck Golden Hetty onto an existing Springlock body. Fred not go on trail premiere. Soon enough, you can buy death crabs and then hire young adults who roll their nageless to die them. Fred I like the now, music. Let's draw paperwork. I know all of it right now. You will put it in it and find it all later at your leisure. Okay, as a person who does like constant paperwork at my day job, I would love to take all my paperwork and burn it and just never have to do paperwork again. I do way too much paperwork. Now, first things first, you have a fuck ton of big red letters at your disposal. Of course. What name are you gonna slap onto a restaurant? Ooh, do I get to name the restaurant? Choose a restaurant name. Oh! Okay. Freddy Fazbender's Pizza, Freddy's House of Pleasure, Freddo's Vile Pepperonary, Pepperonary, excuse me, Uncle Jack's Family Diner, or Bear. I'm tempted to pick Freddy's House of Pleasure. I don't know if that's just gonna lead to terrible stuff. Yo, we're gonna go Freddo's Vile Pepperonary. Pepperonary, Enjoy. excuse me. I'm guessing. Now, we also included several cut out Freddy's heads to go above the name of your pizza. Joint. Oh no, everyone wanted me to pick bear. I'm sorry. 
Oh, I should have gone bear. I'm well, sorry. Didn't want me to throw in this bear I'm a terrible bear. person. I'm sorry. We accidentally took it mid jump. Why he had a kid in his mouth. But since I'm the only one here now, I put Fred Bear's head in the damn pile. So choose wisely. I feel so bad now. <laughs> Literally the entire wall of chat is like, no, pick bear! Choose his head is gonna be above your restaurant's name. Okay, um. Freddy Fazbear, uh, Bonnie the Rabbit, Cheek the Chicken, Fox the Pirate, or Fred Bear Mid Chomp. I like the Fred Bear Mid Chomp. You just made the partially irrelevant choice. Okay. With all of that out of the way, it's time to go outside, put up your tacky bear head, and call this place open. Yo, is that Cyst? Yo, everyone say hi to Cyst Reacts in the chat. Dude, what's going on? Dude, I, I don't talk to this man outside of Twitter. How's it going, dude? Goodbye, and remember, you are the face of Freddy Fazbender's pepperoni. Are we done? Go outside and open up. Can I move? <gasps> okay. So is this game gonna be just like one giant mini game? Cause that'd be great. <laughs> Yo, Blueborn, you're finally on time. Orange maniac revives bear worshiping pizza cult. It's simply the worst possible time, says concerned local parents. Can I move on? Okay. Like that weird close up of the orange guy. Or me. Hello, children! It's Friday, 4 p.m. Amazing actual customers have shown up. Good God! If you play your cards right, you'll be able to buy a table next month. I'll take you up on that, sis. Hell yeah. Go get suited up and bring cake out to the kids. Why do I feel like something terrible is going to happen? Okay, let's get suited up. Here we go. This feels like the ending to like Day Shift 1 and 2. Lucky for you, you stole a wedding cake three months ago. <laughs> what? Whose wedding was it? I saved this cake three... I mean, I got to be like completely out of money. I spent all... Uh, all... $12 to my name to open up this restaurant. So I get it. Okay. That's fine. Cakes are too magical to go stale, right? Yes. Oh, man. That's good. If kids get food poisoning, just respond to their parents with that. It couldn't be my cake. It's cake time. The cake's a lie. I feel like this is gonna be an ending that I just feed the kids awful cake. There you good. You like the? Can I keep the cake? Oh, there we go. Oh, there. You wanna eat the cake? Hey, there we go. Okay. I just pressed the wrong button. Wait, I know that song. This is um. Oh my God. It, uh, shooting star. What? What happened? Did I leave? I didn't mean to Oh, 6 p.m. Hooray, I did it. All right, at this point, I'm kind of confused. What? What? Okay. The end? Hello. Hello. This is the Los Angeles Police Department. Hi. Am I speaking to the owner of Fredo's Vile Pepperonary? Maybe. Nope, sounds like you got the wrong guy. We googled your restaurant's phone number. Oh. We called the number that came up. Oh. All right, you got me, what do you want? This is an incredibly serious matter. We require that you cooperate. May we ask for your name, sir? Ooh, I get to pick my name. I'll go with Salmon right now. Okay, thanks for that. Glad we have that straightened out. We need to ask you another question. Have you heard anything about what happened outside your restaurant today? No, what happened? Basically, a child named Jacob Adams got abducted outside the new Freddy's location at around 5 p.m. No witnesses were close enough to fully make out what happened. And the reports that we've gotten so far are totally outlandish and paranormal. We know that you were inside when it happened, 
and we're just calling all nearby businesses out of courtesy. Mm, are you though? Please, be vigilant. Something is outside your restaurant, and it has already taken one child away. Make sure to lock up tight, and to keep a close eye out. <laughs> Sounds creepy. Good luck with that! Good night. Stay safe. I will. Alright, I wonder what that is. Something tells me it's the uh, aubergine man. Or purple, he's, he's called the purple guy in this one. Uh, what is this? Okay, am I in, why am I moving locations? Wait, wha... Why though? I already opened up one restaurant, why would I... Would I like to save your game? Sure! Oh, I like this save area. Save. Boom. Okay, cool. I'm confused what's going to be the actual gameplay, though. Why, hello there. Future restaurant owner. Am I just moving locations? Look, I'm going to level with you. Yes. I don't know what you're going to hear these picks in. But all I know, Afton Robotics has closed its doors. And no new robots are being made. What? All of that aside, why would you want to spend money on brand new robots when you're just gonna get children's blood and buffalo wing sauce all over them a month after purchase? What you should do is cut corners. <laughs> Cutting corners at the cost of customer safety. Why, that's the American <laughs> dream. <laughs> 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 this You know, there are some companies where that's true, though. I'm not, you know, I... All right. Touche, so, game. This is what you need to do. Grab a phone book and look for the nearest abandoned Freddy's location. Most of them are abandoned as of me recording this. So unless they are bulldozed or burned down, you've got easy tickets. Oh, am I going out to collect stuff from other restaurants? Go to whatever location you can get to. Find your way inside, and then take the most complete robot you can. Shine, those old things might be dangerous. What wanted? What? You'll save a fortune. And besides, customers love just fucking things. Nothing beats Ailey's nostalgia. Also true. Worry not, future restaurant owner. If anything goes wrong, you can always just relocate and change your name. Right? Is that what I'm doing? Wait. All, what kind of man buys a Freddy's location and uses their real name? Anyway, that's it for this tape. Goodbye, and remember, you are the funky face of Freddy Fazbender's pepperoni. Uh, boy, it sure is dark in here. I'm so confused as, as to what is happening. Well, time to get searching. So I am searching for like other, like I am going to different locations that have shut down. I'm sure I'll find more here than I did last time. What would I like to do? Oh God. This is like totally different from the other games. Okay, I'm all on board, ladies and gentlemen. Let's get it. Uh, I'll search to the north, mine as well. Uh, I'm not sure, are there like jump stairs in this game? I know this is still like a parody game. I'm, I, but. Things are getting, like, more and more creepy. What I like to do. Enter the room behind the stage. Sure. Don't take the first one I find. Look around. Okay, Christina. I'll do that. So, like, this is the first one I find. I bet if I, like, pick one. Here, let me, I can at least inspect them, right? Boy. Freddy sure has seen better days. So, I'm gonna leave him be. Return to the stage. So, I'm betting... That this location that we're at is just gonna have Freddy, Bonnie, Chica, Foxy. That seems very, you know, typical. No, they don't scare you? Okay. It's, it, it has, like, a very creepy vibe that I'm not used to in a Day Shift at Freddy's game. Alright, we'll go, um... I'm gonna search each of the areas, and then you guys can vote for which one I pick. I don't know. Let, let, let's, let's figure out what the heck we're doing. Let's go south.
South's facing court has been blocked off with a pile of rubble from a collapsed wall. Okay, so I can't... Oh, has someone been here since I last have? Cyber, thank you for the subscription, dude. What I'd like to do? I guess let's go west then, since I can't go south. Very random animatronics in each building? Okay. Oh, oh hi, Toy Freddy. That is pretty rare. I wouldn't have expected him, actually. Uh, I'll inspect him, at least. Toy Freddy's in poor condition. It's missing a leg and an eye. So we'll leave him be. Wait! I know this song! What is this? Wait, what is the song that's playing? Hell. It's Hotel California! Isn't it? Welcome to the hotel, California. Come on, surely even you don't want a one-legged BB. Okay, so that's all the areas. Search the north. Can I go north? What I'd like to do? Who is this? Spring Freddy? Wow! And to think he once wore this thing for a living. Strangely enough, seems seems someone seems to have repaired it since I'd last seen it. Um, should I get this guy? I, part of me wants to get this one. It's the best one that I've seen, so I'll take him. Would like to com to commit to salvaging Spring Freddy. Solving an old robot increases your liability rate. Yeah. You've decided to take Spring Freddy back with you. You're free to leave through the dining area. Or you can explore this location some more. Is there any is there anything else that I should uh check out? I took him, right? I thought he would like disappear from the screen or something. Oh, I did salvage him. Okay, I did pick him. I did commit to that. Okay, cool. Okay, so, like, I need to be listening to, the, like, the songs just to pick up the memes. Did I miss something? Hold on. I'm gonna check- Oh, uh, leave the piece of- Salvage. I can't go south. Let me just double check west again. Because I didn't realize until, like, that last one that there was, like, extra, like, rooms I could, like, veer off into. So let me just double check. I don't think there is. Or if there is, I'd be surprised. No, I think- I think that's it. I think that might be it. So we're gonna get out- we're gonna get out of it. Can I salvage all of them? I think it only told me to pick one. That's okay. I'll, I'll commit to this guy. So, we're gonna get out of here. Again! Jesus Christ. Got what I came for. It's time to go. It's not even a jump scare. I just got scared. It's like, oh God, something's rising out of the ashes. Very well. What's done is done. You say goodbye to the Freddy Bakersfield location for the last time and drag Spring Freddy through the window. Tomorrow is another day. All right. Yeah, I can take... Yeah, it's only one that I can take, right? Yeah, I can only take one salvage. So I brought with me... What's his name? Why am I skipping a location? I feel like I should just kind of double back around. All right, the Denver location. Hello? Uh, hello? Why did I enter a house? I like the doggo picture. You have one thing left to do tonight. Go to your workshop. Do I live here? Do I live here? Great Wiz, thank you for the sub. Na, 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 na. Sound of silence. Sound of silence. Na, 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 na,
It was Peter and Caroline's room. You've kept this door locked since they passed away. This is gonna be a sad game, probably. It may be late, but you know that there's something that you need to take care of first. You can sleep later. Is this my workshop? Oh, understood. I am so curious of what is happening. Is this my workshop? She's up and running. It's time. This is your last chance to find their souls? Your last chance at redemption? Your last chance to give those souls their happiest day? You have to go inside. I'm literally inside. Okay. Oh, I even have a map! Here we are! Wherever this is. Do I not even know? I just entered my own arcade. I guess we just have to take a look around. The flip side is a hostile place. Save often. X and escape to bring up the menu screen. All right. I'm going to save right here. Yes, sure. Okay. All right. Interesting. Um, okay. And someone said that like, oh, I'm on the route to actually get a good ending. Which I didn't expect, given that... Okay, what can actually hurt me? Because apparently this is a hostile place. Ooh. Huh! Huh! Aubergine man! Oh, sport. Is that... Is that you? <laughs> Dave! No, old sport. I never thought I'd see you here. Since you saw this end. Oh. What is this place? Where am okay. I? Okay, time to spare the beans. Right now, we're standing in the realm known as the flip side. It's a place where dreams come to die, and lost souls eat pizza and stuff. Okay. Basically, you've left your trying line, and come to a place outside of your own reality. The flip side. What? The flip side. As it is currently known, is a place where lost souls retreat to. I had no idea that was possible. You didn't. You used the damn facts about 12 times while it was haunted. Please tell me that you didn't actually think that a sentient child's mind was inside that facts while you were doing the do. What is that option? What is that option? The flip side allows souls to remain in fact, even if a soul's vessel commits an atrocity in the name of vengeance. I do not get it. Purgatory? Okay. Stuff of night gods into suits. Buy another kids. Being called for a brother blue testicle by workers. That's too much for a child's mind to bear. On the time, souls tend to retreat to the flip side, and as a result, their vessels become more variable, which is why I'm here. So why are you here? I've been here for years, to be honest. Or, some form of me has, at least, years or whatever of nice, sportsy. Never try to put the soul back into a corpse. Especially not over and over again. Never ends well. Is that what I'm supposed to do? If I ever somehow get my soul back, I'll keep that in mind. But so I've lost my soul. Time, I always wondered, why don't all ghosts do this? I know now. Years and years of clinging onto my own dead body has caused my soul to rot and tear itself apart. The more reasonable side of me has retreated here. So the side that doesn't kill kids for fun. That's actually what I was thinking. Because Dave actually seems pretty reasonable right here. And knowledgeable. More or less. 
Okay, so what about the other part of your soul? I have no clue where my feral side dash got him to. It's still out there. I bet it usually comes back. It always does. So, are there any al other alive people here aside from us? No, other than us, there's only stray souls in me around here. But then again, I'm not exactly sure if I'm what you'd call alive. And we ain't neither. Actually, that's exactly why you're able to move between the flip side and reality. I don't see any correlation. The flip side is a place for souls to physically move around. If a normal human ever tried to enter here through the glass of that arcade machine, their old soul would push back against the glass, like a reflection on the other end of a mirror. Okay. Without a soul, nothing can push you back through the glass. Oh. You can come and go as you please. Oh. Interesting. Okay. I haven't really kept up to date on what's going on in reality. I last checked that around the early 90s. Granted, I could easily take a gander at what reality they've... Uh, can you do that for me right now? Let me check. Okay, I see darkness, 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 kebab, darkness. <laughs> kebab! Okay, I think I'm eating a kebab in the dark. <laughs> I gathered. You know, it's actually <laughs> quite fortunate that you decided to come here tonight. Something eerie has happened. Oh, God. Oh? Do you remember the real Fred Bear? I think so. Uh, remind me. He's a bear. Not a robotic bear, though. Like an actual real yeah. fucking grizzly bear. Wearing a purple bow tie hat. I think he's the embodiment of childhood, or whatever. Okay, I remember. Good, good. Anyway, he went fucking at you all. What do you mean? Well, being a non-literal entity, he spent quite a lot of time here with the lost souls. Watching reality, waiting for the right time to jump in and fight evil. What? He hasn't been seen here in quite a while. He left one day. And never return. I don't know what exactly went down in reality. What? Something bad clearly happened to the bread bear. This place has been extra screwed up since then. What the hell? What have you been occupying yourself with lately? I've tuned about 335 guitars, made <laughs> a few dozen pizzas, rugby tackled most of the robots at least once. I'm just really bored, to be honest. Say, if you're going, perhaps I could join you. I could use a friend here. I don't know about that! Uh, what do you guys think in the chat? What should I go with? Maybe I could be that friend or kick him to the curb. I don't know. I wanna wanna see what you guys wanna see what you guys uh, decide to tell me in the chat. Some tells me it's gonna be like a lot of one or the other. <laughs> yes, I should. Okay. Yes, I could be that friend. I'd like that sportsy. I'd like that a hell of a lot. Think about it. You have some kind of quest to go on. I'm bored enough to do whatever painful task you set me to. <laughs> JC, you're the only one that's like, kick him to the curb! Everyone else, it's just it's this wall of yes, except for JC, who's like, yeah, dude, get out of here. What's going on, dude? It's a win-win situation. <laughs> it's O'Connor. Besides, there's robots afoot. You're gonna want me around to help fight them off. Okay. Right? Probably. Sure. Okay. Come on, da Dave. Show me how the duck. Show me. Show me the duck around this godforsaken place. Oh, this is gonna be so much fun. It'll be like a slumber party. Exactly like a fighting slumber party. seven foot tall animal robots and searching for dead people. <laughs> Now you can explore this flip side with Dave. 
interact with prop scenery to hear some exclusive Dave commentary. Okay, so Dave's part of the party, I guess. Can we play Bread Bear? Bread Bear. Yeah, Bread Bear! You know, after the company bought the Bread Bear character from us in 1983, I decided to invent this little fella as a way to antagonize them. My own C. Even snuck these cabinets into their arcades. Tony never figured out how to deactivate them. So he just put passive aggressive messages into the game. Good times. It's good commentary, I guess. Most of the games right. are pretty. Thank you, Bonnie. Ship, to be frank. You mean other sugar honey iced tea? And facts me, yes. Other garbage. Dave, can I ask you a question? Yeah. What is it? Can I pay you to stop talking about the Foxy Strip Club? Consider it done. Done. Alright, I'm curious what this is. Utter garbage. <laughs> you had so much to say about everything else! What about this Bonnie poster? Ah, look who it is. The rabbit. Seems so we had seen it. With her face. I swear, one of these days, I want to scribble over the face of every rabbit poster in here. They just look so wrong, you know. I feel ya. I've worked at three different locations that had faceless bodies. Wait, I only remember seeing you at two locations where Bonnie was a no-face chump. Where was the trade? Uh, of course you didn't see me. I was a night guard. Went by the name of Jeremy Fitzgerald or something to that effect. Uh, right? Ooh. That's interesting. I worked there. Yeah. You killed five kids and moved on. I see. Yeah. Okay, let's keep moving. I like how he's just not perturbed at that fact at all. Oh, by the way, you're, you know, you're, in reality, you just was a huge child murderer. Oh, okay. Yeah. Alex TV, thank you for, so much for that subscription. Appreciate that. Oh, what is this? I swear, I see this cabinet in every location I work at. Why does it look like that? Actually, on second thought, I see it in every location you work at. I've actually noticed that too. Strange. Let's I feel like I've noticed it. it. I feel like I've no it looks like a cabinet that has eyes on it. I actually thought that was a video game, not a cabinet. It actually still looks like a video game, but either way, I should probably save actually. Okay, it says Salmon and Dave. Do I get like two other people? To like like is this a true RPG at this point? Like what like what is happening? I'll save here. Okay. All right. Yeah, it kind of seems like Dave has redeemed himself in some way, or at least this version of Dave. There's the bear himself. I swear, Freddy's only invented him so they could have a bear that could compete with our Fred bear. Recoloring him banana yellow and calling him Golden Freddy was a massive duck to Henry after we refused to sell the Fred bear character. What about Chica? Oh god, what do you have to say about- Oh god, what do you have to say about Chica? I think this one was a dunk, if I recall correctly. I don't really remember what cat, and I don't think anyone else does either. <laughs> there was this huge debate when, like, Five Nights at Freddy's first came out, whether Chica was a chicken or a duck. Like, I remember this okay. being, like, this huge I debate. Remembered. I left my lunch bags in the supply closet at some point. We should make our way over to the supply closet. Uh-huh. Where would that be? Let's just keep moving to the right. Okay. I hope we'll eventually hit it. Okay. Oh, like, it, am I going where the X is? Yeah, I may start just yelling duck or sugar honey iced tea whenever bad words are abound. Aren't I supposed to be attacked by, um, uh-oh. There we go. Aren't I supposed to be attacked by, um... Animatronics! Salmon Squad! Salmon Squad! It's the Salmon Squad! Wait, wait! It's the Sam- Look! Salmon Squad! Can I get some Salmon Squad in the chat? Oh, that makes me so happy! Oh my god! I didn't expect that! Okay, that's awesome! Alright! Salmon Squad's got the upper hand. Yeah, it does. Yeah, it does. 
See, this game knows. Woo! Woo! All right, sorry, I just got really excited. Dun, 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 dun. Running in the 90s. Oh, I love this. Can I level up in this game? Feels like I can. Can I heal as well? Apparently I have moves too. I need to check out those moves. I'm pretty sure that I can have like two other people in my party as well. What happens when a party member fades? What's moves? Hold on. Duo act. Buff Dave's defense. Oh, interesting. Okay. There you go. How do I heal? Yeah, I see, I, I figured I can heal. I just don't know how I would go about doing that, I guess. What? It, oh, I missed it. Uh, uh, uh. I know I can, I'm sure I can guard, but guarding wouldn't necessarily, oh God, don't kill me. Woo! All right, is there a way, like moves, guard, I don't wanna guard, but let me check out Dave's moves. Buff Jack's attack, okay. That I'm gonna keep in mind. There you go. Okay. <laughs> salmon squads ducking one. 70 experience gain. And Salmon is now level two. Dave is now level two. Tamper learn. Okay, I can level up in this game. All right, so this is like a straight up. Okay, wait, can I heal? Oh, I am already healed. So as long as I get through. Hold on, let me save often. Save often. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'll get a healer later on. That's what I'm talking about. Don't spoil who it's gonna be. I'm betting we're gonna get the phone guy, but I'm I'm just curious, like, who else is gonna join the party for like having people join this RPG adventure? Hell yeah. Yo, let's do it, Chica! Salmon Squad was surprised. Oh, that means Chica got gets her, her first hit. That's okay, it's just Chica and her stupid cupcake. Christina! No, I will continue to use duck. Because that, that is the universal uh, cover-up for that word. The Salmon Squad was spooked. That's what it should have said. Oh, man. I'm so, I'm so happy that it's just like, oh, Salmon Squad. Like, I didn't even plan that. Woo! Dude, Purple Guy, you just dominated right there. Holy crap. All right. So we're all, wow, immediately? Oh, and there's Foxy. Oh, wait, uh, let's have the purple guy buff uh, my attack, hold on. Fi, you attack, but you increase. Same attack went up, okay. Does it stack? And then, no, it what is tamper? Instantly disabled robotic component does not work on bot. We even get bosses in this? Hell yeah. I mean, I should have expected that because this is just basically a straight up RPG at this point. Woo! Salmon Squad ducking one. One of these times I'm actually going to say the F word. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's going to happen. Uh, I promise learn. Dave's now slippery learn. Okay. I guess the flip side is the only time that... I will be actually, like, treating this as a true RPG, I guess? Maybe? Here's... Oh! Wait, wait, wait! That's the chest! That's the chest with the two locks! From, like, the actual game! Ah, uh, my lunchbox. Oh, and of course that's his lunchbox. <laughs> oh, that reminds me. What were you looking for again? I have no idea. Looking for stray souls. Oh, right, that. Please tell me you have an idea where to search next. Well, the security office is the most haunted room here by far. You can't walk past that room without some kind of specter of ghoul trying to skew the or pickle your organ. Ah. We should go check out the security office. See if anything's afoot. Okay, sounds like a plan. Coolio, let's get moving. Heck yeah. Okay, so that's like way up there. And I'm actually not too, too worried. I'm going to go ahead and save. Save often, because I don't want to, like, have to redo a lot of this, right? How many save files do I get? Whoop. If I pick save, how, how far down can I go? 
20, probably. Oh, no, it can go pretty far down. Can I, can I go past 30? Oh, yeah, I can go past 30. Okay, so we have, like, a lot of, like, different save files we can use, so that's fine. Okay. 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 Uh, ooh. I was, I was about to say, like, let's go ahead and take a uh, right here. What a slippery. Dave's ultimate move. 100% chance of escape, escaping combat can only be used three times in non-boss battles. So I'm going to save those, I guess. Is there any chance to restore them, then? Maybe. I know I can interact with stuff, but it doesn't seem like there's too much to interact with. At least not right now. Yeah, make sure you don't do any uh, spoilers in the uh, in the chat. No, I don't. I haven't seen any spoilers, but someone just said, "Hey, no spoilers." So yeah, just as a general rule, you know, don't wanna don't wanna spoil anything. What about this picture of uh, the purple guy? Yeah, there's a drawing of me. Kids love drawing me. They were fascinated with me. That's true. <laughs> Kids weren't fascinated with me though. How many eggplant men have you seen in your lifetime? I was about to ask how many orange men have you seen in your lifetime as well, but then again, you have Donald Trump, so. Burn! All right, how many orange? <laughs> to be fair, you were in a dumb bass <laughs> most of the time. Still didn't pay me much attention when I was suited up, though. Well, you're just a scary fuck then. <laughs> oh, don't be jealous. I'm so mad! What about the pizza? Freddy's was always tacky. Well, pizza. One time, Freddy's tried to have flavored wall decorations. After the boss saw that Wooly Wonka <laughs> movie. Uh-huh. The pepperoni on the fake pizza really tastes like pepperoni. Some kid broke with oh, teeth trying to buy the chunk off of the fake pizza. Emily, thank you! Several all got anthrax poisoning. Anthrax?! The late 70s with a scary time. <laughs> Oh god, alright, what's over here? Oh, a bunch of stuff. Other, other yeah, I think these are all just, uh, just arcade stuff. That's okay. Yeah, Alex, sometimes, like, if, if an F word just, like, appears and it's, like, too quick, yeah, I'm not gonna be able to say duck in time. But what can you do? I, I can only censor this so much. That's all I can do. So far, we're, like, really not fighting anyone too dangerous right now. I'm, uh, I wonder if the I wonder if I can like grind up my party members or if I have to um... Jesus that was very loud for some reason if I have to grind up my party members or if all of these uh, Battles seem they almost seem staged Hey Freddy's head, you know they used to give these the night guards a defense mechanism to fool the robots into thinking that the night guards were also robots Five Nights at Freddy's 2. Boy, it's hard to breathe in those things. Well, of course we know that. We wore slimy mascot costumes every Ducking! day, didn't we? Christina Mallert. I know your last name's Mallert, but I'm sorry, but I I have to. I have to. Oh, surprise. That's okay. We still should win. Hold up. Let me fight. Attack, moves, do act. Bum, bum, bum. What's up, Josu? I can grind if I need to. Okay, so I can run around if I if I like come to a boss or something that is like just too difficult to fight. I gotcha. Woo! That was okay. Dave can put out some damage, though. Do you see that? Okay, and, and now I at least know that um, the buff that I'm given by Dave doesn't last forever. All right, we, we still got, like, a slightly ways to go. Yeah, that was a straight-up double battle. Whoop. Is there something, like, important in the lunchbox? Because, I don't know. He could have gotten it himself, to be honest. I'm glad I chose the purple guy to, like, come along with me. Because <laughs> I, I wouldn't have wanted to do this by myself then. What am I fighting? Chica? Okay, Chica. 
Have I noticed Freddy's derp face? I have, actually. I did, like, the, uh, the Freddy that I'm fighting in these battles. Yeah, I have, actually. Yeah, Alice, yesterday on my second... If you guys don't know, I have a second channel called Poke Salmon where I do shiny hunting and, and play Pokemon. And yeah, Alice, we did get eight... Like, we got a single shiny yesterday because I had, like, a Valentine's Day live stream. We got a shiny Clefairy, which is super awesome. So if you guys like Pokemon, check out my second channel. Can I have a... Is there a mod in the chat? Can I get a mod to, to post up a, um... Okay, it's office time. Post up Sports. my second channel. Uh, let me save, actually. What? No! I want to save. Uh, maybe I should have saved. Nope, I don't see anything. Let's wait for ten seconds or so. Maybe something paranormal will fade in. I should have... I should have saved, shouldn't I? There you have it, old sport. Something paranormal. Wow. That was sure easy to find. Like, it didn't jump scare us or anything. It's just sitting there now. Hey, golden bear ghostly. Are you a dead child by any chance? You. Me. You. I remember your voice. My voice. Oh, good lord. You're one of mine, aren't you? Yours? Well, yeah. Okay, fine. I may have snagged a few kids, but my pal Henry was even better at it than me. So, you admit it. And your friend, he also murders lost children! Oh, no. That's not Henry. Boss this is a boss battle right here. You have both taken lives that weren't your own, and you must both pay the blood price. Oh, boy. Here we go. I should have saved before entering the office. I should have known. Okay. Uh, all right. Ooh, what is this song? Oh, hey, we can die, but we're gonna go, go, go. There's no stopping me. Burning through the light, yeah. Nothing agrees with like they call Mr. Fahrenheit. We're traveling at the speed of light. Supersonic man out of you. Stop me now, gonna have a good time, we're having a ball, don't stop me now. Give me a call, don't stop me now. Oh god, that's a great song. Yeah, Tyler, it's one of those games, it's like, I don't, there's really no good place to put my face. You can't escape the pu punishment for what you've done. I intend to do exactly that. So, like, you know, you can see kind of fight, escape, and then Salmon and Dave. I mean, there's... <laughs> I mean, I could switch over the side, but I, I think we're gonna go with go with this for now. Oh, one cool... Oh, it has a cooldown. Okay. <laughs> Supersonic man. Oh, don't miss! Oh, we did it! Salmon Squad's ducking one! I thought that was gonna be considerably more difficult. Us. You go sleep, golden testicle. That's not nice to call it. You have not defeated me. I am a spirit. I will keep fighting you both until enough. I am no child murderer. I think. What do you mean you think? That voice. That face. I know who you are. I saw you on the news. You saw a sports on the news. That would mean, no, that's impossible. Yes, he owns a Freddy's restaurant. I see how it is now. You clearly opened a Freddy's restaurant to lure kids there. So your partner could kill them outside. Oh, sport. Since when do you own your own Freddy's restaurant? Since about... 54 minutes ago? Wait a second. Oh my god. You're... Is your name Jacob? How do you know my name? Dave, this child was killed outside my restaurant. Just before I entered the flip side. A police officer called me to, and told me about it after work. Wait, that can't be right. That would mean... Jacob. You need to stop fighting us. 
I will avenge my own life. I will avenge the lives of others who are also stuck here. Jacob, killing me won't solve anything. I had nothing to do what happened to you. But I remember his voice. Jacob, please. You aren't a golden bear. You're just a kid. You don't know what I've been through. What he did to me. Tell me what ha happened, Jacob. I'll try to make it better. I promise. I was six years old. It was a cool June evening around 5 p.m. I was on my way to meet my friends at the newly opened Freddy's location. Freddo's Vile Pepperonary. Pepperonary. I can't say that correctly. I have to think about it every time. I walked up to the doors of the restaurant and gazed up at the yellow bear head staring down at me above the a doorway. Without warning, something slunked up behind me and pulled me into the, an alley. It smelled like death and clasps it, its hand around my throat. I struggled, but its grip on my neck was ironclad. Okay, a six-year-old is not going to be using the term ironclad. It's uh, just, just being realistic there. My body remained in the alley until I was found later. My spirit left my dead body, and I wandered around in the cold, lost. I tried to speak to those who were walking around me, but no one could see me. I... I tried to change my form so people could see me. I tried to change my form to match the bear on your sign, but I couldn't. I didn't have the energy. I faded away. I ended up here. This realm looks just like a Freddy's restaurant, so I've heard. Not that I ever got to see the inside of a real Freddy's restaurant. Just like the happy day I never got. My happiest day. See? You are a child, Jacob. I've been here for what feels like an eternity. Time doesn't work correctly here. I can no longer clear, clearly remember my parents' faces. I miss them. Jacob, they definitely miss you too. Don't you want to see them again? Don't you want to move on? Yes, I do. Then it's time to stop fighting us, Jacob. Stop fighting. Sleep. You. You. I'm so alone, Salmon. Nobody else here remembers who they are. Or what it's like to be a real alive kid. That's why I took the form of this ghostly yellow bear. I didn't want to end up like the others. A robot. Jacob. I'm sorry your childhood was cut tragically short. I'm sorry that you never got to see your friends that day. But this is no place for children. For a child. It's time to stop fighting. It's time to rest. Salmon. Thank you. So, that's what from a lost soul feels like. Oh, it feels kinda nice. Yep. Okay, this game just turned super sad. When he said, oh, it raises some concerns. Like what? Well, about some of the stuff Henry told me. These kids are just like you, Willie. They don't have good homes or families like we do. Look at how happy they are here. Don't you want them to experience this forever? Henry, Henry told you that? I mean, yeah, he did. Do you think he was kinda wrong? <laughs> Maybe. That son of a... Dave. I can assure you... That little girl that he had abducted at the diner? Her name was Dee. She had a family. And that family loved her unconditionally. Maybe she had no parents, but sure, that's life. Her older brothers look after her. They would have died for her. What do you say? 
Nothing. Nothing. Sorry, I'm rambling. I it's time for me to go. I have a restaurant to run. I can't believe you didn't tell me about that. Did you buy the Stuck Your Own Freddy's Kit 1993 edition? But it's second hand. <laughs> Found it at a flea market. I see. Did you say that your restaurant was named Freddo's Nile Pepperoni? Yes. That's just wrong. Out of curiosity, whose head did you stick up on the side? Uh, Fred Bears. Good choice. That was <laughs> my favorite. Everyone was long gone by the time I was making the kiddo, so I threw it in without permission. Company scandals be damned. I love that chubby funk. Oh. Henry really I didn't knew catch that one. To design a deadly lonely jaw. Oh, by the way, I'm just wanting you. Those tapes get a little strange later on. I might have lost my mind while recording those. Oh God. Y you mean more than you already have? I should probably add. That kid said he recognized my voice. I'd be a little more concerned if I were you. Trust me, I am. No, you don't get it. The reasonable part of my soul is here. What? The feral side is still out there. Yeah, I think I've been, like, reading the feral side, the or, like, been interacting with the feral side, like, the other two, uh... The other two games. If that kid recognized my voice... Reality Dave is still lurking around, and if he found your pizza place, he's probably trying to find you. I'll keep an eye out. Good, good. So, what's next for us? Uh, I don't know. Well, I need to return to reality. Okay. I have a restaurant to run. Ah, uh, I... I guess I'll just stay here, alone. Time doesn't exist here anyway. So who cares, right? Okay. I'll be back in a month's time. You will. Yep. Can I ask you something, Dave? Shoot, old sport. When I return, I want you to have a plan for us. God knows how many souls are trapped here. You think you can figure out a way for us to free more of them? I sure can, Sportsy. Leave it to me. I'll know exactly what to do by the time you get back. Thank you, Dave. It's very useful. That's me. Useful Dave. Yeah, that's what I call you. Sure. It's been fun, Dave. Catch you next month. Why, Sportsy. Good luck running your new Freddy's joint. Thank you. God, there's tons of dialogue in this. Goodbye, Dave. By the way, would it be better, would it be better if I moved, yeah, well, first of all, we're going to save the game, yes, whoop, hold on, yes, save, there you go, hold on, let me go back up here, oh, I didn't realize I saved it, file uh, 34, my bad, save, okay, Ooh, tape time. Yay, more tapes! Why, hello there. Welcome back to the Start Your Own Freddy Fast and This Pizza Kit 1993 edition. You launch your own mediocre pizza joint and you have somehow got an entire month without turning it down or flooding the place with our cheese. Right, B. Now, it's time to expand. God, that's a weird face. Business is on. <laughs> Excellent. Don't be a fucking square, man. Go order a Freddy's ish you own guy from Afton Robotics. What's better yet? The black market. Own guys <laughs> come in all shapes and sizes. They all have phones for heads though, before you ask. Every location has one. Even that one dog old location. All phone guys are made from 100% recycled spring or Freddy's employee. So don't worry about animal cruelty. Rest assured, most of these men were probably dead before they got turned into living phone people. 
everyone has their answering machine wiped repeatedly, so they won't be able to remember anything about their past lives. Mostly. Also, if you decide to loot away a dirt or any children, turn off the security cameras first, or at the very least, remember to crudely paste a picture of your janitor over yourself in the CCTV footage, so he gets mad for the crime instead of you. That's all for this tip. Remember to smile. You own this fucking place. Oh my god. Alright, hold on. Well, I am moving some stuff on my desk. Sarah, thank you for that sub! I'm gonna move some stuff on my desk so that I can do something. Skip the phony introduction. No, I do wanna I do wanna do the phony introduction. At least for now. One sec. Alright. Let's see how this goes. It's not as great, but that still work. And then let's do... Whoop. That's probably gonna be a lot better. I'll just kinda switch around and get used to this so you guys can, guys can see... Oh god, I just destroyed everything. Good lord. We good? We alive? You all right? Okay. So that's that's probably gonna be a little better overall. Pro probably. I can't see myself. Let me do this. All right, there we go. Uh, would I like to skip the phone? No, I'm all right. Don't skip. There we go. I'm the phone guy. Model 1401, but you can call me Scott. Thanks for buying me, by the way. That warehouse was getting rather dusty. Uh, no problem, for 25 cents you were a bargain. They only charged you what? I, uh, thought it was worth more than that. Um, so basically I'll do your taxes for you and stuff. Since most delivery companies allow you to order stuff over the phone nowadays, I can use my head to order more stock for us. Uh, what kind of stock can you order? Anything we need, from cough medicine to sawdust. So, I had to look over our paperwork. Did you... Did you attempt to burn all of our company forms? <laughs> it was the will of Redbear he must consume. I had Dios mio. Uh, what's with... Uh, what's with weirdly huge Freddy's employees destroying company documents? I swear. Every location I've worked at. Uh, I'll try not to- Oh, what happened to, at your last location? Some crazy worker drove a forklift through the wall during a birthday party. I tried to send a letter back to the Fazbender HQ, but before I could, he poured a mug of gravy all over the reports. Interesting. Okay, since you've made the remaining paperwork scarce, I'll have to run the legal side of our company. Uh, you do know that this is the only Freddy's location open, right? We're the only ones left. It's our responsibility to run the entirety of Fazbear Entertainment. That includes the legal side of the company. Uh, that sounds boring. I don't want to do that. Well, luckily, I'm here. I'll handle the lawsuits and disgruntled patient parents. Like always. First order of business. This place is tiny. How about we expand the place? We have a, I have a wad of cash shoved into my phone's receiver for some reason. We can use that to expand the restaurant. That's... Wait, a wad of cash shoved into your receiver? Yeah, that's right. Suddenly, I, I now know what you're going to do in the warehouse. Whoop, didn't mean to do that. And Galactic Gaming, thank you so much for that sub. I'm pretty sure that those men were using you for drug trafficking. Oh, that explains the gunshots. All right. So, I have just enough money to buy the grow your own hallway in minutes. Just add water kit. Let's give this place a hallway, bathroom, and an office. Uh, that can't possibly be a real kit. Isn't technology amazing? Well, you're the boss, so where do you want the hallway to go? Uh, ooh. Does that ma does this does this choice matter? Is this something I should like be concerned about? Or does it really matter? It doesn't seem like it matters. I'm gonna go, um 
Yeah, we're gonna go south bearing. All right. It should take a second to grow the hallway. There we go. Hallway completed. Uh, did we just grow an entire hallway just now? Um, yeah, it's right down there. So you've already salvaged an older robot. By the way, he's using a 40-year-old Springlock suit. Really wise. Eh, who cares, right? Any excuse to throw Golden Hedward out? Don't throw out Hedward! I already have. Oh, I forgot to mention. Uh, you'll get bonus customer satisfaction points if one of our robots matches our restaurant's mascot. So sticking with Spring, Sp Spring Freddy head above our sign might be a good idea. All right, that's our most pressing business out of the way. When you're ready to open up shop, walk outside the door on your left and open this place up. Feel free to talk to me in any of our rooms before opening up and we can customize your restaurant, restaurant to your liking. Uh, funds permitting. The Darth with that subscription. You have the option to customize your pizzeria right now. This will complete your pizzeria layout randomly, but as a result, you won't be able to choose which rooms you'd like and you'll get a random selection instead. You also lose out on any freebie dollar bonuses to go towards buying new stuff towards your restaurant. Choose wisely. Oh my god. Manual build mode recommended for new players. Nah, we'll play a building mode. We'll play we'll play with it. Wise choice. Part of me wanted to randomize, but if it's gonna suggest that I hold on, what am I well, okay. Okay, this is building mode? Wait, what do I do? Okay. Well, what's down the hallway at least? Oh, do I just talk to the phone guy? Oh! What it, wait, what's the bathroom situation? Well, right now, we have separate bathrooms for boys and girls. If you want, we can convert the boys' bathroom into a unisex ba restroom and convert the girls' bathroom into a disabled restroom. Unisex bathrooms are all the rage these days. It totally boosts customer satisfaction since it'll make our restaurant seem more progressive and hip with the times. Also, we'd be the first Freddy's location to actually facilitate disabled people. But... Having almost all of our customer base in one toilet will cause crowding, which will lower customer safety. Ah. I was all I was all for it except for the safe. Why would that be a safety concern? Worth the risk. Alrighty, I'll switch the stickers on the doors before we open. That's fine. I'll take the risk. I'll What's over here? Jeez. Maybe you should check out a light bulb in the disabled room. Looks kind of dark. Alrighty. Don't randomize. Yeah, someone said don't randomize. Well, good thing I didn't, at least. Before we get started in the office, I have some advice. <laughs> Keep your advice right. No, what's that? We should hire a night guard. Someone to watch the place at night. Why? Well, studies show that having a night guard working at your Freddy's location reduces the rate of employee danger and the rate of employer liability. Hiring a night guard is worthwhile, I think. Eh, let's hire one, sure. Wise choice, all right. I'll list your options. You have Sarah Buchanan. She's three years of experience as a night guard at the local coffee place, pretty decent worker. Bert Wintra Weintraub, rested 93 for trying to assault Freddy Fazbear. Might sound promising. <laughs> also have Derek White, claims to like animatronics and that's all we have on him. Uh, really, Sarah would be the best person to go with with three years of experience. All right, consider her hired immediately, if not sooner. Is that it? Okay. I didn't talk to the phone guy like way up there, so. Whoop. Let's talk to this dude. What do you need, Salmon? Uh, we we need tables. Table set us back about 250. How much money do I have? Excellent. Can do. Oh, there's my cash. Okay. Okay. First of all, I didn't even realize that. There's my cash right there. Right, so that's how much cash I have left. I have like five something. Uh, so I have tables now. Um, stages. Let's go mascot. 
sure, okay. Our current mascot is Fredbear. No, I like that. Um, <laughs> duck it, the duck's going up. Uh, second plastic bear. No, 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 ne never mind, I'm fine. I don't know what this is all supposed to do. Um, what do I need? Uh, let's see. Let's do... Add extra room? Why not? We can build a new East Bearing room. What kind of room would you like to construct? Uh, yo, let's just straight up go to arcade, man. I hope to gosh you know how to operate an arcade area. All right, now I literally have no money. I should warn you, you may find some old secondhand Freddy's arcade cabinets are strangely lewd. I just want to play Bread Bear again. You run a company. I didn't ask you before. <laughs> oh, you didn't? Well, I didn't ask to be turned into a living phone person, now did I? All right, I'm sorry, Jesus. I'm about, I'm about ready to like just go. Oh, here we go in this room. What do you need, salmon? Uh, let's talk wall decorations. We have enough room for two decorations in the prize corner. Uh, decorations on the left. What do you have your eye on? Let's put up a chica poster. I mean, maybe it'll boost pizza sales. Yeah! And then over for wall decorations. And then to the right. Let's go. Well, do I have enough? Wait, no, I do have enough for a Fred Bear poster. Elijah, thank you for that sub. A cursed character for a cursed restaurant. Boom. There we are. I like it. Okay, I'm done. I have like no money. No! No loot cabinets! No! Bad! Bad! Am I ready to leave the tycoon and open up shop? Sure, dog. <laughs> nah, hound. <laughs> I should start saying, it. nah, hound. Oh, God. What is that? Oh, one month later. Okay. So, am I returning to, um, what you call it? I gotta be. The, the flip side? Well, here we are. We're back at your very own Freddy Fazbender's Pizza Joint. Did I, like, leave for a month? Like, completely? This is the last day of this month, so you better check up on that phone. He's doing... Oh, so I'm open up shop. I'm here. Within a month later, then I go check it out. Okay, got it. Got it. I see what we're doing. I see. How long is the general gameplay of, like, one run-through? <gasps> Pick from a list. What music would you like to play in your restaurant? Pick the list. Vegas track. Are we going to go with some sweet jazz? Ooh. Oh, yes. The jazz salmon likes this, baby. Woo! Hello, sweet daddy-o, baby. Hey, boss. Welcome back to the new and exclusive Freddy Fazbender's Pizza. Fantastic. Exclusive because all the others are on fire, have gone moldy, or have been converted into a Walmart. Alright, I'm not picking that first one. Place is moldy too, to be honest. Yeah, okay, it is. Why this place houses such a diverse variety of mold, frankly, escapes me. We've been open for a month and three brand new species of mold have already been discovered on the premises. Our mold is communicating. Interbreeding. Yes, members. Members in the chat, please show off the jazz salmon. I want to see some jazz salmon emojis in the chat, please. Adapting. Okay, that's disturbing. Yes, okay. Okay, so I'll just give you a quick rundown on how exactly the place is doing. Uh, long story short, we're broke. Yeah, we're out of money. What? We're broke. We broke even! <laughs> yeah! Sir, with all due respect, this place isn't making a profit, and your poor design choices are the main reason why. First of all, my design choices are amazing. How dare you? There's nothing wrong with this place. 
This place has no actual functioning robots. Oh, did I not set up the robot? Uh, yeah, I brought the back. Yeah, I brought back the hideous Spring Freddy suit, but it reeks. And since you haven't hi hired anyone to wear the bear suit, I've had to wear the suit at birthday parties. Do you realize how hard it is to fit a phone head inside a mascot costume? You know what a spring lock failure feels like, Salmon? No more. Oh, come on. That doesn't sound too bad. We are out of money. I tried to escape, scrape some dough together so we won't lose the restaurant. Isn't the rent on this place like $12, though? I've got to be careful. Do you think you can help out today? Maybe lend a hand since you're here? Uh. Oh. Okay, I guess I'm here. Great, great. That's, uh. It's actually quite reassuring. I'll go rev up the ovens. You know, whatever you want to do. Or you do whatever you want to do. Time for a bear? I'm too stressed, too much too tired to even begin to figure out what time for bear could possibly mean. <laughs> you do you, Salmon. <laughs> Catch you later. I'm so glad I named my character Salmon. <laughs> okay, uh, Chica says squawk. Um, search the dining area until 6 p.m. All right, let me search the dining area at least. What is here to do? $96 was found. Wow, that's like five times my rent for this location. Uh, leave dining area. I don't have many locations. Where will you go now? Um, go to the save? Go to the arcade. Might as well explore my own area. <clears throat> Ooh, can I put, oh, I won $96. All right, uh, try to unstick some of the buttons. Make it a little bit more playable for all the uh, young children. You managed to slightly unstick the buttons. You now earn slightly more money playing Foxy Yif Yif Yif. Okay, good thing I have this nice calm jazz just. Oh, I made the right choice, by the way. Ah! Why is an SCP in here? Why do we get the distinct feeling that if you happen to look away or blink while gazing at the concrete peanut, even for a moment, that it'll get your neck snapped? Duck. That wouldn't do at all. I. Hey, sir. Can I ask you a... Sir, what the heck is that? Hey, employee? You physically can't blink, right? Correct, sir. I don't have eyelids. My head is a phone. In that case, employee, could you please stare at the concrete peanut? Forever? I mean, I don't see why not. Duck and bulled out of the room. Oh my god. All right, well, there's that. Do you think leaving the phone guy with that thing was a little scummy? Yeah, dude's gonna die. He survived multiple spring lock failures, fires, dog, euthanasia. Like, duck, am I gonna let myself be done in by a concrete peanut? Survived isn't completely accurate in this context. Granted, you're up and mo moving, which for a corpse is relatively impressive. My hatred keeps me warm. <laughs> right. Um, ah, uh, sir, <laughs> why on earth would you leave me alone with that thing? I knew I couldn't outrun the concrete peanut employee, but, um, I, I knew that I could outrun you. Uh, I, uh, okay, <laughs> catch you on the flip side, oh caring boss of mine. Do you mean the literal flip side? Was that like a random event? The coast should be clear now. The concrete peanut has vanished, vacated the premises. I feel like I should call the SCP containment breach. Or the, as the secure, the secure contain protect area. I think it was just called SCP. Either way. Not containing a breach, because that's the name of the game, but. 
Okay, what am I doing here? Um, I, I wanted to explore like another area. So hold on, let, let's see. Let's see where we're going. Yeah, it, no one's watching the SCP. So yeah, people are getting their necks snapped like everywhere. Go to the safe room, I guess. Oh, I can go outside too. I should probably check out. Uh, record training tapes. Uh, I don't see any training tapes here. J just this one cassette tape that reads "Poor Dave Poor X U Seven. Let's give it a listen. So, uh, the Springboard training tapes. I sorted, misplaced them into a large fire. Of course. One, Three, not go. I want trouble. But you can always record your own. I'm sure you know what you're doing. If you don't, and the few employees get broken, who cares? Just by some employee. 25 cents, a good deal. Ciao. Am I recording training tapes then? Well, guess you're gonna have to record the spring block training tape or two. Yeah. All right, here goes. Hi, welcome to Freddo's Vile Pepperon pep Pepperonery. 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 That's what I'm trying to say. These are uh, training tapes that like uh, help you not die in a bear suit. What do you what do you mean you're sugar honey iced tea faced? Focus salmon. Focus through. Okay, without further ado, safety instructions. Springlock suits are suits that uh Well Ooh, completely 100 percent fireproof. Guaranteed to kill the one customer today. They duel as both animatronics and suits. Uh first step is to uh Kick the suit until it makes a clicking noise. Rip the head clean off, no mercy. <laughs> then you, um. Wow, that's the most aggressive choice that I've ever seen. We're gonna go safely under the suit. Very important. Don't get the suit wet, get this wet as possible for you. <laughs> Don't get it wet. Uh, not. <laughs> uh, I didn't expect these choices. Don't flirt with animatronics. Don't yip the box. Or one last thing, the most important thing. Oh yeah, never do a flip. Um, yeah, okay, that's it. Try not to like die in your job, okay? That was actually a decent training tape, stuttering and mumbling aside. Really ought to boost the employee safety rate and not reduce it by like a million. All right, uh, I guess search the safe room. Ninety dollars were found. All right, leave the safe room. Oh my good lord. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. Uh okay, we're gonna search till six six PM. I'm done. Oh I should have uh looked outside. That's fine. That's fine. Oh I found $164. That's fine. Six PM, end of the day. I'll i I'll search. Uh I may search outside later on. You know, Blueborn, I don't know when the next Poker Salmon stream is gonna be. I am gonna upload some uh shiny reactions this weekend. Most of what I'm doing this weekend is gonna be for this channel. Uh, 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 I, I, I may get one Poke Salmon stream in this weekend. I'm not exactly sure when, though. 6 p.m. So, uh, let's uh, have it. Uh, <laughs> 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 oh, dare I? Oh, dare I? I'm doing it. Uh, uh, okay, no, uh, put that uh, away. Uh, 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 <laughs> Man, how much dough have you made from your customers today, sir? Uh, uh, <laughs> you did stick around uh, today. So I'll raise money for the restaurant, uh, so uh, uh, how much have you made? I made uh, 350 whole dollars. Uh, 
You made three fifty. Uh, hey, uh, that's not bad. Uh, 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 Woo! It's actually a good thing that you decided to stop and help then today. Thank you, sir. Don't ever thank me again or you're fired. Uh, uh, <laughs> Come on, uh, with your three fifty. We now have six hundred dollars. Uh, okay, uh, um, here, sir. Uh, here's what we made today, minus company deductions. Uh, uh, Is it in the negatives? Uh, oh, did you give me the money? You didn't give me any money. That's uh, it for tonight. Uh, See you on the flip side, sir. Do you mean the actual flip side? I'm going back to the flip side. That's what I'm doing. I know that's what I'm doing. Today was an all right first day. You helped your employee work the day shift, earn a considerable amount of money for your efforts. Today you brought, uh, brought you right back to your glory days. Those late afternoons bent over in a sweaty bear suit. That came out wrong. Pause. Your time with Dave, uh, putting nostalgia aside today, wasn't a large of a, as large of a failure as it could have been. Guy leaves the restaurant, uh, and you decide it's time to lock up. You leave through the window and say goodnight to Freddy's. Tomorrow's another day. Was that like day one? That was a Saturday. That was a Saturday, though. Okay, I guess I'm going. I'm going back to, or I'm going to Colorado. I'm going to Colorado and picking up another suit. So I think I think we're doing like three iterations. I did I did this first location over here. By the way, I live here over here. This is where I live. This right here. Phoenix, that's where I live. If you were curious. So Alright. New creepy place. What am I picking up here? Just another animatronic? Finally. You've I I you've returned. There's no company tapes left to guide you through your remaining duties and responsibilities. You're completely alone here. At least, you hope you are. Eh, it's time to get searching. Those robots aren't gonna salvage themselves. Yo, see you later, OJ Gaming. Good night, dude. What would you like to do? I guess we're gonna search everywhere to see what is everywhere and then pick out the coolest animatronic that we find. What is up north? That is a f Golden Freddy, it looks like. What would you like to do? We'll inspect the stage area. The stage area has been sorely tainted by time. The thick layer of grime covers anything that was once bright and pristine. Several pieces of Bonnie are scattered throughout the stage. Finally, an incarnation of Bonnie the Bunny with a face. And yet, nor torso, nor torso, tragic. Akai, thank you for that subscription. Appreciate it. Freddy seems to be relatively intact, missing limbs aside. All right, so leave him be. So there's a Freddy. Uh, uh, search the south. So that's what's up north. No other areas, I guess. Um, yeah, we got Hotel California playing again, just like in the last location. What I'd like to do. Uh, we're going to search to the south. See what's down here. Two hallways branch off together. Choose the hallway. We'll go west first. Then we'll go east. Does it just continue on? What I like to do? Enter security office. What location? Is this like maybe the original location? Blueborn, I know you're Dalton. What I like to do? Oh, is there no? Okay, I guess I'll leave through the right. Silver with that subscription, appreciate that. Yeah, uh, Dalton, sometimes it's just easier for me to say what name is on the screen. That's that's all. So sometimes I'll call you Blueborn, sometimes I call you Dalton. Don't worry, I know you're Dalton. What do you like to do? Uh, I guess I'll leave the corridor. I didn't see anything in the security office. Did I read the info dump? I haven't yet, not Irish man. I'm gonna read it later though. Yeah, I know, I know you sent me some useful stuff in terms of, like, uh, uh, Day Shift at Freddy's 2, but you sent it, like, ten minutes before I could, like, uh, b before I started the stream, so there's no way I could read it before. What would I like to do? Uh, I guess inspect Foxy the Pirate. Seems to be broken down for once. You swear that he was left un relatively untouched this time if it wasn't for the fact that he's clearly missing a leg. I'll let him be. All right, I will go, uh, search the east. Uh, where, where haven't I... Where haven't I checked? Uh, where did I go? Did I go west or east last time? California. Such a lovely place. 
do 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 Ooh, this looks spooky. Uh, yeah, we're gonna enter the restroom. Is there an animatronic in the restroom? Hell, California. Oh, Chica! Missing a leg, though. Na, 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 na. What animatronic should I pick up? Dear Lord, how repulsive. You couldn't possibly want this moldy chicken inside your restaurant. <laughs> Salvage the moldy bird waifu. Um, leave her be. Who should we get? Uh, Rihanna restroom corridor. Um, what would be like the best, the best one? I mean, really Freddy seems to be like the most intact one. I guess I'll leave the corridor. California. Um, I'm trying to see if like, I don't know if I missed an area. Um, I guess I'll go. Who should I get chat? I'm just going to see what the chat says. Everyone's like split actually. Between all three, it seems. Omar would Omar wouldn't salvage Chica though. I don't think he would though. He would not No, he would not salvage. I'm going to go get uh I'm going to go get Freddy. He would not salvage Should I do it for the memes? I'll pick up the facts. I'll pick up the facts. I'll pick up the fox. Facts. I'll pick up the facts, not the fox, the facts. <laughs> fine, I'm fine. Okay, most seems like most people want to pick up the facts, so I'll leave him be. Uh, search of the south. I'll go. I'll go pick up Foxy. I'll go pick up Foxy. Everyone is like all over the place, but I will go. I will go pick up the facts for the memes. This is for the me. Uh, this is the east, right? West. Yeah, because she was the last one we saw. Omar would salvage Foxy though. He would pick up the facts. Uh, yeah, inspect. And salvage him. Pick up the facts. Yes, commit. Sweet. Uh, yeah, search these. Let's get out of here. No, Yiffing! I'm just picking up the facts! For Omar's sake! How dare you? No. Do you remember the, remember the last time when we chose Yiff the facts? Almost got demonetized. Almost had my channel shut down, basically. Uh, take Foxy back with you. Time to go. Are you gonna just creep up? I have what I came for. Very well. What's done is done. Say goodbye to Freddy's hurricane location for the last time and leave for the door since this place is windowless for whatever reason. I felt like maybe I didn't choose the right animatronic. Because, like, the other animatronic kind of, like, lifted up in front of you. So I kind of, like, guess, like, different endings depend on, like, you know, what characters I pick. What is happening? Wait. The store is locked. That's impossible. Same door you used to get inside. Uh-oh. Oh, no! Dave Trap. Sportsy, I knew you'd come back. I knew I could find you. Sportsy, I. <laughs> Do you need a lozenge, Dave? I've seen better days. Sportsy. Come on, closer, old sport. It's been so long, and my eyes haven't been so hot. These past few decades. Can you tell maggots fucking love human eyeballs? <laughs> Who would have known? They seem to be crazy about me in general. A likely. What are you doing here? This is my home. Sportsy. It's where I died for the last time. It's my tool and my battle pad. Don't mind the facts. You can't steal food anymore. Six I tore up his lamp. Oh. Uh, I think I'll just go. You should be dead. This isn't right. You're suffering. The past always comes back to bite you. 
doesn't it? You of all people should know that. Easy. Don't I kill me. I waited for so long to see you again. I waited here for you for over 30 years. 30 years? They seen you in a dark from over 30 years ago. Thought they could just do it up their problems. What? Someone tore down the planks and took me with them to a cheesy horror attraction. It was an okay hit for a while. Can't be props. Reheated pizza. What? One thing was missing. You. Every night, I searched the halls at that maze, looking for you. Being led around by the actual lack of that plastic balloon present. I thought you had to come back eventually, right? You always come back. What? You did it. Eventually, the place caught on fire for no fucking reason and burnt down. They sold pieces away at an option, but couldn't find a home for me. How familiar. So, I found my home. I spent 30 years in that safe room, without a speck of light in the end. I thought, Sportsy would have busted me out by now. He must have finally kicked the bucket for good. But then, what do I read in the paper? The new Freddy Fast End is now open full business. Are you gonna kill me, Dave? <laughs> I'm it sorry. You. you have come back and called me to you. You always come back. I knew you wouldn't leave me. Let's go home, sportsy. Home? Yes. Take me home. Do your pizza joint. Take me to Freddy's. I can't help you run the show. I bodies. Be kept back. See? Unuseful. It'll be just like old times. Take me with you. Oh my god. What do I pick? What do I choose? Part of me wants to say no. I kind of want to say no. I say no. I, I, I think he's like just going to straight up kill me, right? You become a monster, Dave. Don't say that, old boy. <clears throat> I'm still a person. I just look different now. <laughs> Maybe you're right. Come with me, old friend. Run as fast as your legs can carry you. Come back, old boy. Don't run away. You can't play me alone again. Oh, God. Then he killed a whole bunch of kids. I mean, that's another reason why not to take him. <laughs> uh. All right, we uh, oh, actually takes a few things. There we go. Where are we going? Back to that specific location. Alright, back to the flip side, I guess. Oh, jeez, he followed me! I think he followed me! You have to try to set things right again. Go to your workshop. Right. Yo, gamer, thank you so much for that sub! He's right there! He followed you home again. Again? Again? Hold on, let me look at these. It's a portrait of Peter's recently deceased dog, Sparky 2. Oh, that's sad. Portrait of Ken Kennedy's family before all this madness started. Dang. Alright, here we go. Of silence. Alright, back to the flip side. Now, the phone guy kept saying, see you on the flip side. Is he gonna be in here? Do I get more party members? You know what you have to do. Free more kids! You have to go inside. To the flip side. Let's go.
Hi there. I'm back. How's it been? Get ready for dialogue, peoples. Sportsy, you came back. Thank God. I was worried you'd leave, man. It's fantastic to see you again. Likewise, Dave. More or less. So it's been a month. Uh, do you recall what I asked you to do for me? Oh, don't worry, Sportsy. I didn't forget. I found us a real good lead. Good. Spectre lead. Sweet. If you will. Oh? Yeah, I ended up remembering something quite interesting. You remember that horrifying Ducking! puppet that Freddy Fazbender's kept in that damn music box, right? Yeah. I mean... Yeah, of course I do, maybe? Why? Well, that puppet used to visit a lot. Searching for lost or damned souls in his place's abandoned vaults. It came from another, deeper part of the flip side. Wait, there's more of this place? You didn't think that this was it, did you? This place only covers like three old Freddy's locations. The flip side, much like the surface of the earth, or an onion, is flared. <laughs> the deeper you go. <laughs> <laughs> Ogres have layers. Flipside has layers. Well, I tend to stay as close to reality as I can for a reason. It's been so long since I've seen that puppet. What ventured beyond this part of the flipside? I see. Is there a way we could get there? Shine. Just step into the portal. Where's the portal? What? Yeah, what portal? Why, that one, of course, old sport. Did you conjure that, or like, how did that appear? <laughs> I hate this ducking place so much. If you want to find that puppet-faced bastard, this is the only way. The All right. only way, old sport. All right, then. Let's do this. Ladies first, sportsy. All right, Dave. All right, here we go. I think we're gonna have a puppet boss then. We've arrived. Beastie eyes, sportsy. So this is layer two, huh? It's uh, it's very familiar. I worked with a ton of locations that are just like this one. Yeah, yeah. Don't say, sportsy. This realm represents any Freddy's locations that were built in the late eighties. I believe so plastic robots could be lurking around anywhere so this and is you fina know as well as I'll do that just one's bite this one this one's FNAF 2 this is like the FNAF 2 location so we're gonna be checking out FNAF 2 characters here that's what's happening come on let's get going right behind you old sport that's what's happening hold on let me save though because I haven't saved in a while just in case we end up dying which definitely has that possibility. Oh, yes, overwrite the save file. It's fine. All right, off we go. Yeah, everyone. I didn't say this earlier. Please like the stream. It does help me out a lot. And thank you everyone for watching and hanging out for a while. Now I don't know exactly if there's a specific location I need to go. You see, there's a map in the uh, bottom left of the screen there. Uh, yeah, and I know a lot of people come in and they like immediately, which I appreciate, but just a reminder, some people forget. Um, let's see here. I guess I'm gonna, yeah, no, actually, if I, if you look very closely on the map, you'll actually see that there is a, a box at the very, very top. That should be like the present that the, uh, oh, that's locked. Is that a security door? Should be a present that the puppet should be in. Sportsy. Oh, Scratch, I've never seen anything like that here before. I... I wonder if it's possible to go too far down and find yourself trapped. Thanks for bringing up the mood, Dave. Worry not, Sportle. I happen to vaguely recall the location of a once unused poor release button. I'm sure the closed blaster and the button are hooked up to one another. We press the button. Up that fucker comes. Didn't catch that one. 
Okay, Come makes on. sense. Sportsy. Time to press a mother Ducking! Alright, so I have... Okay, I see where the button is now. Alright, so press that, then we'll go up to the... To the... Okay, what? What? Oh, good lord. This thing... I had to stop shipping these things to Freddy's locations. Why on earth you'd want a plastic robot that can tell kids about the orphans and Radlus is beyond me. All it takes is for this thing to correctly predict when one custom is gonna die. And you have a murder lawsuit <laughs> in hand. Oh, battle. Okay. Oh, we're just fighting Bonnie again? Okay, that's fine. I thought we- or is that Toy Bonnie? Is it Toy Bonnie or just regular Bonnie? Oh, it is Toy Bonnie! Okay, so we are fighting the FNAF 2 animatronics. That's fine. Why can't this be the game, Duck? I don't know! And this is Salmon Squad, baby! Salmon Squad all the way! There you go. That wasn't too bad. I'd like to get up maybe to level 5 before we actually uh, fight the puppet. What are Dave and Sportsy doing? I believe that we are freeing souls by fighting them. Like knocking them over the head. So we're gonna open this up. Okay. Clank. That ought to do it, alright? Come on. I've just realized the perfect place to check. What do you mean to check? Uh-huh. If my suspicions about this ethereal location are correct, this place should have a prize corner. If any room in this place is unimaginably and horrifyingly haunted, it will be at one. Why that one? Oh, please. That's where Matt worked. Even the spirit world respects how creepy it fucking was. I almost didn't catch that. Oh. <laughs> come on. They come up fast! Now goes the ain't gonna bust itself. <laughs> I need an emoji for members. That's just a duck. That just says duck. And you know, whenever that happens. That's actually a good I that's actually a good emoji idea. <laughs> I already like I have by the way, for those uh, who are members, there are three uh, emoji slots that I can uh, give to uh, uh, members right now, and by the end of like at the beginning of March, I'm gonna have those three emojis ready to go. And it's gonna be awesome. And one of them is one of them is gonna be a Patrick meme as well again we're gonna patrick we're gonna have a dr salmon and then we're gonna have a uh a salmon playing a ukulele and then um we actually need uh after that we need 25 more members from where we are now we have 50 we're like on the dot for 50 members so if you are interested in becoming a member or want to know what that means, click the join button under the stream and, or actually you can go to the description, see where it says become a member today. Click that link, um, whether you're on uh, your iPhone, your tablet, your um, your computer, and that'll like show you uh, what it takes, like what becoming a member means. It basically, oh, I'm actually going to go up. Uh, it's a $5 donation to the channel. Uh, you can cancel at any time. And you'll see there's some people in the chat that have like little fish next to your name. Uh, they are, um, uh, they are members. And so you get, like, the longer you're a member, the cooler, uh, fish badge you get. Yeah, sounds good, Kay. No problem. Yeah, and so the more members we have, the more cool stuff I can, like, hopefully give to you guys. Dude, I'm sorry to hear that, Dalton. Oh, man. Yeah, you gotta, I guess you're, you gotta be careful, man. Sorry to hear that. Why did you meme? I didn't meme you. I memed the duck. Attack you. I'm actually gonna dual act. Oh, bro, that's awesome. No, oh, I'm happy to hear that, man. Happy to hear that becoming a member helped you in, in that particular regard. Yeah. So, and that's and that's if you want to become a member. You don't have to become a member, of course. And I really appreciate you guys hanging out and doing stuff. And I just want to... I get a lot of donations, and if you do want to donate, 
I do I suggest becoming a member because that way you can get cool stuff from donating and you know, oh my god I'm hiccuping I'm like ah, I can't get rid of that you know so I am gonna save because I don't know how this boss battle is gonna go it'll go ahead and save there we go file 8 saved sweet all right let's see how this boss battle goes I'm assuming it's a boss battle so Hello. Well, here we are, Sportsy, the prize corner. Look at that counter in all of its horrifying hauntedness. Thank you, O'Day. Appreciate that. Doesn't look all that haunted to me, Dave. Give it a second. Okay. Maybe something will pop into existence if we sit in silence for three or so seconds. All right. Right on time. Well, it was like barely half a second. Old sport. Something. Let's do it, puppet. It's it's going down. <laughs> Jack. Yo, Dark Murph Meffy. I thought it said Murphy. I'm not wearing my glasses. Dark Meffy is the newest member of the Elite Salmon Squad. Thank you so much. Get that new member hype in the chat, man. Thank you so much. You now have a cool little fish badge next to your name, and you can use the specialized emojis that I've been talking about. So, yo, thank you so much, dude. I appreciate it. Is that really you? Yeah, it's me. I go by Salmon now. Salmon. It's been so long. D. What are you still doing here? I thought you would have passed by now. Well, if I'd have passed, who would have stayed behind to mop up the rest of the Lost Souls? There it is! There's that new membership. Thank you so much, dude. I appreciate that, Dark Meffy. Not really that, uh, n that, not that many really remain here aside from Spectral Robot. This place has been deathly empty. I understand. It's good to see you again. Wait, hold what? on a second. Sportsy, why are you calling that thing D? Isn't that a human name for girls? More or less. Why on earth do you call it that? Dave, this is D. She's... Hold on just a second. I know that voice. Is that Dave Miller? The Kitty Strangler? Flash. <laughs> Whatever the scaly hide cover in my body is made out of. <laughs> Are you a murderer? Yep. Thank you, Dave. Yep, yep. Jack, why would you bring him here to me? MCL, thank you for that sub! Is this how you get your sick kicks nowadays? He's my friend, D. He's here to help. Dave Miller, here to help? My god, you haven't changed at all. We're a bajillion victim- We're, we're a bajillion victims that you two took not enough. I'm not an idiot, Jack. Every time you two become friends, a trail of bodies appears behind both of you. My God, I can't let this happen. D, relax. I've learned my lesson in junk. I was hoping that you'd come back to find me, Jack. Now, I sincerely hope that you haven't. You're going to fill this place up with soul after soul until no child left alive is going to be able to sleep. Think of the orange and purple boogeyman lurking outside their bedroom window. I'm going to do what I should have done 50 years ago. How old are we? God. I don't want to hurt you. But if you get physical, I'm going to get physical back. Came out wrong. We will have to defend ourselves. Well then, on guard, Jack. All right, boss battle is get it. All right, Dave. Defend yourself, but don't seriously hurt her, okay? I'm aiming for this thing, so I'm ah, you're knocking. Okay, fight. What is the song? What is the song? What is the song? Oh, is this Let's Get Physical? Wait, is it really? I'm confused.
No, it can't. No. I'm a rocket man. Rocket man. Running out of you on heavy house. There it is. I know you both too well. The moment I let my guard down. Me a long, long time. Touchdown brings me round. I get to find. I'm not the man I think I am at home. I no, no, no. I'm a rocket man. I'm going to fill that plastic. Ducking! Alright, da Dave's about to go down. I think it's gonna be a long, long time. Oh, that is a cooldown. Tamper. Does not work on bosses, though. Uh, this might be a little iffy. We'll see if we can take this thing down. It really wants to go for Dave. Yeah, Dave's down. Dave's dead. So we're just gonna go for it then. It does that thing does a lot of damage. Ah, you missed. I might be able to pull this out. I might be able to pull this off. We'll see. Oh man. Thank goodness he missed or he missed that one time. Oh god. I'm dead. Alright, there I go. Okay. Salmon Squad is ducked. Alright. Duck! You sure don't go down easy. Didn't go down easy the first time either. Should I have known that? Yes! I was one of the first victims that you and Henry abducted! Number three! Wait, hang on a second. You're the girl. The one Henry took away from. Do I not, like, completely die? Is it not like a game over? Oh, so is it like, oh, I have to beat them to, like, move on, that kind of thing? Or, like, to beat them to, like, get a, like, special ending? Kind of thing? You're the girl the one Henry took away from? Oh, so you do remember. Well... I can remember quite a bit too, William. Do you remember what that sadistic duck did to me? <laughs> I'm loving using this duck. Uh, William? So wait, is there a, wait, is there a difference between uh, beating these, like legit beating these bosses? Like do I have to beat the bosses, I guess? Big boned. I, I was never okay with what Henry did, I swear. I tried to talk him out of it. Oh, so he busted didn't have to win. Oh, well, that works out. I'm no different from any of the children that you murdered of your own volition, William. You're evil. No two ways about it. And now, you've corrupted my own flesh and blood. What? What do you... Sportsy, how did you know what that thing's name was? Dave. She was my sister. Oh, oh, no, I... I had no. Oh, so now you feel remorse. Now that you know who I am. What? I. I was only one of many casualties. All the other kids had families too, Dave. What? Henry told me. You snuffed out so many childhoods, Dave. Surely you knew what you were doing. Well, you were taking away from your victims. I was you a favor. A favor? You took away every future birthday that I could I could have had. Every Christmas morning. Every walk in the park with my family. I never got to grow up, get married, have children of my own. My future died because of you. Don't you remember your own childhood? Did you have any idea of what you were taking away from us? I do remember my own childhood, if you could call it that. Oh, I get it. How pitiable. The killer has a tragic past, so I, a victim of his sugar honey iced tea actions, have to feel bad for it. Well, no, I'm sorry that I... That don't... That don't cut it, William. You weren't the only one with a far from idyllic childhood. Jack, me, and our brother Peter were orphans. I'm sorry to hear that. I. I take it Jack is Sportsy's true name, Ben. Yes, it is. Yeah, but honestly, Salmon's fine too. Our parents died in a car crash, I'll have you know, leaving Jack and Peter working full time to support me. Hey, don't worry, sis. Don't ever call me that. I know how you feel. I never had any parents either. Wait. You must have had somebody if you survived to adulthood. Well, from a young age, I was cast out of an orphanage. Turns out nobody really wants to adopt an orbishy kid. New York City in the 1950s. Good luck if you were homeless. You'd be lucky to get a nickel most days. 
People find goodwill and charity tedious. After so long of hearing about the needy children. So, I learned how to play the trombone. Should've learned the sax. I formed different bread. <clears throat> drank rain water. Slept wherever it was at what? I survived, didn't I? I don't understand. You lived through such hardship and yet... Where did you go? What happened next? Well, I ran away from home. Went trolled. Traveled for a while through upstate New York. Drank rain water in Utica. Steamed hams in Albany. Then, near the border, I saw something different. Something wondrous. What was it? Dr. Miller's fantastical circus. Where fantasy is made real, and life has meaning. A local traveling circus, starting by on its way to Vegas. I snuck in, not having a ticket, and my god, quite the place, let me tell you. Hot dogs, clowns, lions, excitement, and in the center of it all, stood the ringmaster. A stout fella, pink complexion, in a pink striped outfit, with his signature hat and bow tie. Henry. He was Dr. Henry Miller. I was standing in his circus. He thanked everyone for coming down, and welcomed us to his show. Promised to show us earth shattering illusions. He guaranteed to prove that the impossible was possible, or your money back. Granted, I snuck in, but I was intrigued by the claim nonetheless. And boy, did he make the impossible possible. Cannons fired on instinct, as if they were sentient. Trapeze artists levitated from bar to bar. Every damn act shattered at least one thing that I thought I knew about reality. The circus itself traveled west, and then south, hitting several stops in the Midwest. I followed the circus around, getting a good view of the show most nights. And every single show was incredible. Henry even had a clown persona that he'd done occasionally, got on really well with kids. That guy knew how to act. My god. Henry had a circus and he was... Dave, what happened to the circus? Well, it never <clears throat> quite reached Vegas. Unfortunately, people tended to turn up missing in towns the circus reached. Bad luck, I guess. The police called it off and arrested the lion tamer. Since the disappearances were investigated as murders, I heard that guy got put to death. Serves him right. Ruin Henry's circus. Filthy drunk. Dave, don't take this the wrong way, but I doubt the lion tamer was the culprit. Oh, trust me. Henry testified in court. Saw him do it. Henry was a good man and a big dreamer. Yeah. Even after that, he never quite let go of his dream of bringing fantasy to life. He decided to put his doctorate in robotics to use and started up his own restaurant. Freddy Fazbear's. Fred Bear's Family Diner. Fred Bear's Family Diner, rather. All he needed was a hand to help perform on stage, manage customers, invest a little money into his dream. I was a young man at this point and had saved a little bit of money up so I could change my life. I just knew it. Henry's dream would change my life forever. I gave him all of the money I had, and told him that I've always been at a lot of hand. He cared about me, D. Gave me my own character. Let me help him write jokes for his shows. He gave me meaning. He was the first person that taught me how to dream. Dave. What? It's okay. I know Henry did bad things. He meant well and wanted to be a good person. Me and sports, you want to right Henry's wrongs and fix everything. We can still have a happy ending. Jack, is that true? Yes, D. Aside from the blatant Henry praise, I mean. Dave means well. This isn't the same day that we knew on Earth. The flip side is a dangerous place, sis. Dave knows his place well and can hold his own in a fight. He's useful. See, I'm useful. Jack, do you really want to help save everyone that you can? Yes. I do or I do lie? 
No, I do, though. Well, then. Perhaps you should return to Earth and do whatever you need to do. Dave and I can strategize here. I know there's another lost soul nearby that we can help. I just need to figure out how to reach them. So that sounds good, sis. Oh, before I go... Dave, I have something to tell you. What is it, old sport? I... I found you. I thought it was going to be like, I love you. Or you found me, I guess. What do you mean, <clears throat> sportsy? Your physical body found me again. It's inside of a rotting spring bonnie suit. It goes by Dave Trap now. My god. That's incredibly concerning. <laughs> But we have nothing to worry about, right? You've learned your lesson about killing kids. Dave Trap can help us. D, that ain't me. <sighs> That's the part of my soul that can't let go. Couldn't even let go of my own dead body. Sportsy, I'm gonna keep an eye out for what my reality incarnate is up to. Keep your guard up. Good lord. The last thing we need is another soul to free. Keep a close eye on things, Jack. I will. Thank you, both of you. I'll be back in a month's time. Goodbye, Dave. Goodbye, sis. Farewell, Jack. I know we'll see each other again soon. Sportsy, don't leave me alone with her for more than a month, or she'll start getting ideas. Violent, depraved ideas. Coming for the kitty. Coming from this kitty strangler. That's rich. Oh, please. If I had one foot long noodle limbs, I'd do some. Goodbye, bro. Be back soon. Are we get are we getting are we getting the puppet as a a party member? Because that's kind of awesome. Yes, I would like to save the game. Um Question How far into this game are we? In terms of like am I halfway? Am I most of the way? I'm just curious. So I'd like, I'd like to try to reach an ending this stream. Let's cut the ship, old sport. I know you're listening to this. Who on earth would buy a franchising kit from a company that killed dozens of innocent children? Aside from you. We are a family old sport you were lost but you soon will be found i'm going to come find you old sport i'm going to come find you oh great now that's fine oh hi sophie Ah, my cat's here. Ooh, I have Foxy running around. Another day, another dollar. Phone guy can be upgraded from today onwards. Using the employee management option can speak to him in the office of the tycoon. All employee management options, including hiring, firing, and upgrading phone head personnel, are available in the office here in the tycoon. Okay, I'm realizing this is an extremely long game. I kind of even don't want to, like, mess with everything. I'm going to go check out Foxy, though. I'm sure. Yar. Yar, yar. All right, I'm just not gonna worry about it. I'm gonna get out of here. I'm just gonna get out. Oh, I can just straight up leave. Okay, because I want to see if I can like just get to an ending as quickly as possible. Sophie, where'd you go? My cat was rubbing up against me. I think she's hungry. Even though I fed you, you butt. <laughs> well, here we are. We're back at your very own Freddy Fazbender's Pizza Joint. Freddy Fredbear appears to be having fun above your door. The last day of this month, so you better check up on how Phony's getting on. What music would I like to play? Oh, pick from a list. As much as I like jazz, uh, Bakersfield track number four? Oh, I love that too. What is track one number one? Original day shift Fred Freddy's. Okay. So this is all stuff from like the other day shift stuff. Colorado one. 
Oh, is that day shift at Freddy's one? The, all these are Bakersfield. That's the second one. Either way, back to the smooth jazz. Oh, oh, there's a lot more. Oh, there's a lot more. Oh my God, there's the memes. Wait, there's all the memes. Wait, where's um, me channel theme? Wake me up inside. Wait. <laughs> oh, it's great. Um, spooky, scary skeletons. Glob. Wait, the glob song. Oh my, this is amazing. Wait, the glob, glob, a guy glob steam. <laughs> it really is. Uh, oh, for the damage coda? Yes, this one! Okay, I picked this. This is like the saddest music you'll ever ever hear. Uh, Life on Mars. Never gonna give you up. I'm a believer. I was hoping we'd find the, um, the, uh, what you call it? Um, Ocean Man, but apparently maybe not. Oh wait, you reposted the wrong pizzeria? That's great. We're gonna do for the damage coda. You'll recognize this if you if you've watched Rick and Morty. If you watch a lot of Rick and Morty, you'll recognize this song. Hello. 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 Uh, 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 well, let me tell you, I'm glad to see you. Uh, you're always, aren't you always happy to see me? Uh, I mean, uh, yeah, uh, of course, I, uh, uh, well, today's inspection uh, day. Uh, we have a health inspector uh, coming today, which is obviously very important. Uh, I was wondering, uh, well, uh, if you could maybe uh, stay and help run the place, uh, uh, just since, you know. Da, 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 da. Da, da, da. Have, do y'all recognize this? It's great. Well, it's goodbye, Freddo's, you know? Uh, do it. Uh, can I do it? Have you do it yourself? So I just want to kind of get through the game at this point. Maybe I'll have a live stream where I, like, specifically go for the good ending. Yeah, it's the Evil Morty theme for those of you who've watched uh, Rick and Morty. Just do whatever I want. Uh, first chance I get, I'm jumping ship. Fair uh, enough, don't you uh, worry. We'll get through uh, this just uh, fine. Uh, 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 why'd you go check the safe room? Why would I want to go check the safe room? Being our bleeding out room of sorts, it's quite a high risk area. Go check the safe room and make sure it's safe. It doesn't contain something. I'll join. Well, I'll come join you once the inspector arrives. Can do. Good luck, sir. Alright, I guess I'll, I guess I can go do that. Bum, 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 bum. I said, don't have a joke. Oh! Why, hello there. No sport. Miss me. Sportsy. Hey, okay, bye. That's right. No sport. I came back. I always come back. Boy, it's been a lonely month. No one that you don't want me. That is willing to leave me behind. What? I noted feeling well, Sportsy, don't I? Does it truly matter that you left me behind, old sport? I noted I can change your mind. I can remind you of the fun we had. Okay, how are you gonna do that? I'm gonna win you back over. See, pretty old days, alone, working at a fast food restaurant is enough to drive anyone to murder. <laughs> All I can think about is how much fun we had together. The good old taste. I know that you didn't choose to salvage me, Sportsy. Yo, Scott, with a two dollar donation. This is for Rick and Morty. Heck yeah! Hopefully we'll we'll play some more. Uh, what was it called? Damage to like a coda. Either way, yo, get some hype in the chat for that donation. Thank you so much, Scott. Appreciate it, dude. But maybe I've learned how to forgive. 
couldn't help but notice that you salvaged the old bear suit you want back in 1987. There it is. Let's get that Rick and Morty hype, baby. Back in California. You sentimental bastard. Yeah. You. Dave. Sportsy, do you remember the good old days? I know you still do. Dave. Come on. There's nothing to fear, old sport. Take my hand and you Dave! I built a good life for myself here. You disappear for 30 years. And then you just waltz right back into my life? Sportsy, you hate this place. You hated working at Freddy's. Let's cut this shit. Uh, Stop sugar honey, SD. Any of this was in directly what we had before, and I'll admit that this place is fairly authentic. What? You're missing one final piece of the puzzle. The final audition colored piece. Dave, I don't know. Oh, sport. It will be so easy. It will be just right before. Who the fuck is missing? Duck! We could it happened so fast. Sportsy, I promise you, stick with me. I can make you a star. I can give you a mortal life. That's incorrect. I can make good on all of my empty promises from before. Uh huh. You, pro you promised to fulfill your empty promises. The well, that's where you're going. I've missed you. Get out of my restaurant. Sportsy, you don't. Oh, allow me tell you. You have no ducking what you've just done. So, you bitch me in that rotting pizza joint. And then once I find a way inside, you decide to duck me out onto the curb. Sportsy, honey, do you really think honey? I'm gonna give it? That I'll let this go. Mark my fucking ducking. Word. We are a family, and the family doesn't give up on family. A kid is gonna go missing here, old sport. And mark my ducking. Word. You are gonna learn what it means to lose something, the idiot. I will come back, old sport. I always cool. Goodbye, old fuck. Duck! God. <sighs> Boss, there you are. The inspector's here. I managed to bias as much time as possible, but you know, the more time we spend at the dining area, the greater chance he has of spotting the scuttlers. The infestation. He's waiting out there, sir. You should go out and grease the old wheels. Put on your soulless orange charm. Good luck, sir. Ah, uh, the inspector! Hello! Oh, Christ, it's you from the first game. Hello, I am the LC inspector. Unanan. Unanan. You are the owner, correct? Correct, correct, sir. It is a pleasure to... Hold on. That face, I know it. My father once showed me a photograph of you and him together. Oh, are you his son? Do you remember this? <laughs> he said you were awful, <laughs> and you made him explode. <laughs> <laughs> it's nice to meet you, too. You look a lot like a f your father, you know. Well, then... Let us begin the LC inspection. You also didn't age well if you're like 20 years old or something. Yes, well... Uh, this is the dining area, as you can see. Yes, I've seen nothing but this room for the last 10 minutes. Yeah, and you can look at it for the next 6 hours, too. Yeah, I, um... What was that? Please don't shut me down! Health violation. Bring me to the next room, please. Okay. It's gonna find health violations in every room. This is this is the this, I almost said this is the hallway. This is the hallway. It's very exciting. Um Are you stalling for time? No. Is it a yes? That Yeah. I would like to see the toilets. Yeah, sure thing, boss. Right this way. What's the point of this? What's the point of this cutscene? Behold! 
porcelain thrones. These toilets don't look officially. Actually, it looks pretty pristine. You're just like staring into my face. What are you trying to say about my face? Then again, you should have seen the last Freddy's location that my father suffered. Some insane person blew up a urinal. Oh my god, that was from the first game. <laughs> Uh, nervous sweating! Let's move on. <laughs> That's right, because I did that. Uh, we can't? Why not? Uh, some hacker blew up a urinal. Someone blew up another urinal. Yes. That's a health hazard. That's true. This dude's nostrils is, like, off. No, like... This, this nostril is bigger, like, it's like a higher up than this nostril. It's, I, I'm, I can't stop looking at his nose now. This is my office. Look! A camera monitor! Okay, the tour's over. Look, I'll be honest. It's amazing that the roof hasn't caved in yet. With the amount of rats, mold and asbestos above us, this place is dangerous. Every second we're here, our combined life expectancy falls by at least three minutes. I'm going to have to shut this place down. Like, right now. You don't have to do that. You're going down! <laughs> no, diplomacy. Why not? Uh, I'll get. Uh, I'll give you a back rub. Was there anything I can do for you? Well, it is my son's birthday next month. If you host this party here free of charge, I'll let you guys off the hook. Okay, you want to bring your son to a place that he can basically die. All right, sure. Free of charge, done. But you said this place was full of mold. Thank you! Why would you want to bring your child here? Thank you! Hey, I said I was a parent, not a good parent. <laughs> I swear, I am the orange guy. I am thinking exactly... Hon han han. Hon han han, what is that? Fine, fine, we have a deal, you ducking baguettes. Okay, enough. I will see you later, deranged orange man. Okay. <laughs> we did it. Uh, Sir, uh, it's me, the phone. Uh, uh, Your favorite phone. Do you have to enter like that? Uh, uh, I, uh... uh yeah, forget uh, it. Uh, I saw the inspector uh, walk out. Uh, 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 I take it everything went fine then. Well, it sort of had to bribe him, but otherwise. Uh, Groovy! Uh, so, what did he demand? Money? Booty? Uh, we have to host his son's birthday party next uh, month. Uh, Why, that's. Uh, we can do that. Uh, After all, we uh, throw parties all the time. We can do this. We. Dear God, we might accidentally kill his kid on premises. Yikes. Let's try to avoid that, shall we? Well, I'm content. Thanks for helping me out with the inspection. Uh, feel free to do whatever you'd like now. Uh, the restaurant is your oyster. And by oyster, I mean slightly gone off clam that you found in the dumpster behind an all-you-can-eat for a $4 seafood buffet. Ciao, sir! Hey, uh, sir. Can I have a quick word with you about something? Uh, sure, what's up? Uh, we've got a problem. You know how you chose to merge the gender restrooms and converted the former woman's restroom to a disabled restroom? Yeah? Yeah, well, customers have reported bizarre noises coming from that restroom. Frankly, I have absolutely no clue what could be up with that room. Ghosts and ghouls, a trapped customer, and infestation. Either way, I'm not going in there. And you expect me to? I, don't, I, I know it's hard, but the rumors could, like, damage our reputation. Come on, sir, just give the disabled room a peek when you have the time. I'm not doing that, you do it. Well, okay, then. Should you change your mind and take a peek inside, report back to me, sir. Okay, maybe I will take a peek inside. Uh, okay, enter, let's figure out what's going on here. Was it the other one? Was it the disabled room? Mongi? Three stuff mongooses? Uh, let's see, hold on. Leave. Oh, I guess he, maybe, okay, maybe he did mean disabled. 
or maybe I misread. Uh, okay, enter the disabled restroom. All right, time to see what could possibly be in here. Oh God, are those are those pelicans or storks? Well, they seem to be docile enough. Silently withdraw from the room. Yeah, I don't. I'm leaving. I'm not. I'm leaving that alone. I'm leaving that alone. Uh, Sir, uh, you've returned from the disabled ba restroom. So, see anything unusual in there? Uh, there's no way I'm talking about what's in there. Lock it up forever! But, sir, I'm concerned. What was it in there so bad that you can't even. Sir, don't worry about what's in there. Because there certainly isn't. There certainly isn't worrying about you. Well, alright then. Thanks for surveying the room for me. Here's 25 for not delegating the job to me. Uh. 25 won't cover the therapy I'll need. Do I look like I have $24 to my name? We are wearing a suit. Bye, sir, and thanks. See you on the flip side. Uh, alright. Uh, I'm getting out of here. <laughs> Let's see. A dining area, I think, is the where is where I need to leave. Yeah, why? Why? Why was there pelicans in the disabled restroom? That makes no sense. Yes, more money. Woo, 6 p.m. How many more, how many more, like, days, I guess, do I have? It kind of looks like I only have, like, kind of one more location to go through, but, I mean, I know we're going to have a lot more dialogue. I'd like to, like, get to an ending. I was planning on ending the stream in about 30 minutes. That would make a three-hour live stream, but... You know, I'm okay with going another hour if we can, like, actually reach an ending here. Thanks for staying back and helping with that dastardly health inspector. Fredos would live to see another day. Which is obviously a good thing. Uh, who isn't a local parent, health inspector, police officer, or concerned children's right activists? Uh, glad to help. Oh, sir, you don't have to call me, sir. Sorry, employee. Freudian slip. Today really took me back. Oh, yeah, with the phone guy being my boss. That could have been a total disaster. Imagine what could have happened if the inspector checked what's under the rug in the back. It's under the rug. Trust me, sir. You don't want to know. By the way, craziness aside, we made 913 in total today, so here's your cut of that. Fantastic. Current cases aside, somebody sued us today. For what? Uh, an Aurora Borealis appeared in our kitchen. One customer got too close to it and evaporated. That's a health code violation! Oh, Christ. So, we need to figure out... Oh, let the lawsuit run against us, which can make the company look terrible. We'd lose 25% of our future profit margins. Or we could settle this outside of court and then suffer no ill consequences after we pay out a nice, healthy bribe to our current profit margins. It's a puzzler, all right? Um... Let's just let the lawsuit ride. Let's see what happens. We really let this happen, huh? All right, then. That's fine. No, it'll cripple us financially, but screw it, Is I suppose. I'm going for it. I don't care. Uh, well, sir, that's everything covered, minus uh, final duties before the place is locked up tight. You're free to leave now if you'd like. Of course I'm free to leave. I own you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think Lincoln sort of made sure that what you're doing is illegal, but... <laughs> hey, if Freddy can survive 1,300 child murders, what's a little human ownership gotta hurt, you know? See you on the flip side, sir. Alright, so I have like three or two, two to three more days. That's actually a lot. Uh, what a strange day. Sure enough, Dave broke into your restaurant and found you successful. You, you refused Dave's offer to kidnap a child together. Thanks for your actions today. Ran as smoothly as it possibly could. You say goodbye to Phony and cartwheel out of the restaurant. Either way, what's done is done. Tomorrow's another day. Two more days after this one. Um, okay. Tell you what, let's, uh, if we do have... See, am I going to the Denver location then? 
But that's like all the locations. I have two more days. Do you think I can beat this in an hour and a half? If I like kind of rush through it and like skip all the parts like uh, managing my restaurant? Because if I can, I'll just go for it. Isn't this a trip down memory lane? The Colorado location you worked at back in 87. I'm sure that there's something here that you haven't found yet. It's time to go searching. All right, let's explore this area. These robots aren't going to salvage themselves. Uh, north, south, east, and west. What I'd like to do, uh, we're going to go north, east, and northeast. Okay. Yeah, I'll see you later, Kay. If you rush through, it's not as fun. I mean, it's not really rushing through because, like, if, if I go back and do, like, a certain ending, we're going to see a lot more intricate stuff. Uh, search the west. It's not like I'm going to, like, be speeding through it. I, I, I'm at least, like, just not stopping to breathe, I guess. I'm just, like, just steadily going back. Hi there! What would you like to do? Expect far for. Yep, it's the rat. Uh, I'll leave him be. Let's go search the east, because we're going to go to the other direction now. Check out what's over here. Yeah, let's go to the south, I guess. Are we going to get bread bear too? Or are we going to see bread bear? I would think so. Uh, let's go check the east. Oh, is that Withered Bonnie, I guess? Oh, I can even check more areas. Check Bonnie. Yep, a faceless Bonnie. Tis a familiar sight, all right. I'll leave him be. Uh, let me go... Let me go east, I guess? I think west will, like, bring me back. Yeah, it is the rat that attacked us in Day Shift at Freddy's 1. Is there anything in here, I guess? Doesn't seem like it. Uh, inspect the bathroom. Double good enough for Freddy's restroom. Looks like at least three wars have been fought in this ceramatic sugar honey iced tea factory. You, sense a, you feel a sense of nostalgia while staring at the wall-mounted detonated urinal. Ah, memories. What we'd like to do. Alright. Um, search the west. Uh, let me search. Maybe I can go north. Or south, maybe. But, yo, sorry, I lost. Yo, dude! So, Sam, sorry, I lost my job. This is all I can give you for now. Much love, dude. Always glad to support. Dude, I'm so sorry that you lost your job. I'm so sorry. Thank you for the $5, but please, like, make sure that you're financially, um, stable before, before you give anything to me, man. I, I want to make sure that you're good, okay? So, th I mean, I appreciate it very much. Good lord, this cat suit has seen better days, you presume, since, you know, the thing is always damp and stank when you had to wear it back in the 80s. Dude, I'm going to salvage the cool cat. Yeah, let's, let's get the cool cat. Dude, I'm so sorry to hear that, man. I, I hope you find uh, an even better job that pays more in, like, two weeks. Like, Boom. Uh, search the north. Yeah, but don't, yeah, don't donate to me if you, if you lost your job, man. That didn't make me feel bad. <laughs> uh, I, I, I wish you all the best, though, man. Uh, let me go, let me go to the west. I'm gonna double check. I'm gonna bat, what was it, northeast that it wanted me to check? We're gonna check northeast, and then, uh, we're gonna move on to, back to the flip side, I think. I think northeast might be the bread bear. I already committed to Cool Cat, and I'm fine with that, but I think northeast might have the, um... Might have bread bear, I would assume. Yeah, see, yeah, I figured bread bear would be here somewhere. Eh, maybe I should have waited for bread bear, but I'm cool with the cool cat. Somehow in your head, you had forgotten that bread bear was a real robot, and that's just a funky, reoccurring nightmare. Can, oh, can I salvage him? Yeah, yeah, let's let's salvage you instead of uh, okay. All right, I did. I thought I had to like commit, commit. Okay, uh, yeah, search the southwest. Let's get out of here, man. 
Did another creator of the Cool Cat movie try to attack a YouTuber? Is there a Cool Cat movie? I'm not sure. I I know nothing about this. I didn't know like there was a movie Cool Cat whatever. I have what I came for. Very well. What's done is done. You say goodbye to Freddy's Colorado location for the last time and leave through the window. Tomorrow's another day. There's so much content in this game. Like, there's so much story, too. How many endings are in this game? How many endings are in this game? I know there's, like, a lot. Because that's the last location that we're going to be checking in on. So I figured that uh, the game would end after, after, like, this little bit. But, I mean, if we have, like, two more nights... I heard that there are like ton I mean there are tons of endings in each game, but the fact that we you know we're going so long without like even accidentally dying or accidentally reaching an ending. I don't know. Salmon, you've returned. I'm glad. Hello, D. Sportsy. If I try to sleep, you might get a shorter route. Sleep where? Was I given the option to sleep somewhere? Hello, Dave. Dave, it's good to see you for a second time today. Oh, sport. I've been watching reality me, and you made the right choice today. Yeah, heck yeah, I did. Uh, I'm sure <laughs> you couldn't take I'm another. I'm glad you did the right thing. Of course and I did. now we can continue our work. Oh, Cool Cat Saves the World is the name of the movie. Oh, okay. I'll make sure to keep an eye out for any of reality Dave's future shenanigans. Thanks, Dave. The help is appreciated. Uh, so, D, how's the plan coming along? Well, Jack, Dave and I have been talking. We think that we found a potential new soul for us to free. Uh, well, spill the beans, then. Oh, sport. Do you remember the phone face that worked at that Colorado Freddy's location that we also worked at in the late 80s? Yeah, are we freeing him? Oh, Christ. That guy. You remember him? Of course I do. Uh, he tried to frame me in a murder case. Ah, uh, right. Were you actually guilty? Or am I remembering wrong? Eh, it depends on the ending. I don't remember. <laughs> Can't remember where you, whether you murdered five kids or not. It was the late 80s. What you gonna do? Well, long story short, he's here too. Uh, on the flip side? Yeah, he's here as well. One layer down from us. Deeper into the flip side. What was that noise? Yo, thank you, Game Flamingo. Appreciate that. Uh, so, do we want to free him? Well, that's what we're asking you, Sportsy. I genuinely don't know. He didn't treat us very well. I'm not sure if I think we should. He had a tough job and he didn't ask for any of this. Sure, but he took no responsibility for his issues. Just tried to sweep it all under the rug. Like everything was fine. I like him. He didn't give a shit. That's a sugar ass thing. Like I was subhuman. As far as his goal, he was one of the better ones I've had. I. Ugh. He was my brother Peter's old manager back when he was alive. He was a jerk, but not denying that. But he was also hurting badly. Does that make what he did okay, though? Are we really in this to save everyone, D? I mean. Of course we are. Then we have to take this all the way. We can either stop now and pack it in, or save the unsavable. Redeem the irredeemable. This is our last shot to make the world new again. You're right, bro. No man left behind. Hell yeah, Hell yeah. sportsy. sportsy. Right, We're here. gonna see his own face again. Come on, let's take the portal down. What portal? That portal. Why that one, of course. I hate this place so much. After you, sportsy. All right, let's get it. Uh, FNAF location three. What is it? Would like to save? Sure, Daddy O. Uh, I'll go ahead and save. Not many opportunities to save, but that's because like everything is just filled with story in this game. I swear, like two hours of this game is just straight story. This looks stark and creepy. Yeah, I'm betting I'm betting this is FNAF 3. So this is layer 3, huh? 
I've never been down this far before. I've been down this far once before. Keep your wits about yet. Only doesn't take it kindly to visit us. How do you know? Ooh, hi! Look! There he is! Employee? Sir, it's me! Salmon! Oh, God! You? I remember you. And is that Dave? And that marionette. Oh, shit. Oh, it's Sugar and SD! God. Oh, God. Don't run. Oh, God. You're here to finish me off! To get revenge for all I've done to you! Throwing you under the bus and trying to sweep everything under the rug. Like, it was probably fine. Well, I'm not giving you the satisfaction! Attack my foxies! Oh, I freaking love it. Okay. You... Ooh, buff stats. You only use twice. Okay, attack. Foxy A. What moves do you have? Give gifts. <gasps> That's really cool. I'm gonna, like, cons... Well, I'm gonna wait. Wait, 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 wait. Attack. Wait, wait. Attack. 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 And then I'll start healing afterwards. Attack my foxies. Oh, my God. I'm glad that we have a healer now. Uh, yep, we're gonna fight, and then moves, give gifts, and attack. In the 90s, uh, 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 woo -hoo -hoo. That's a beautiful animation for some healing. Is this gonna be based off of, uh... Hold on. Is this gonna be based off of, uh, the Final Lights 3 location? I gotta say, I love the, uh... Oh, there you go, that's one Foxy down. I, l I love the, um... Oh my god, I can't even think of, like, what I'm trying to say here. The RPG elements of this game. This I like. I wish there was more of the I wish a lot more was, like, this right here. Yeah, it's running in the 90s. It's not, it's not deja vu, yeah. Good guess, though. They're both very, very similar songs. I'm just gonna have everyone attack. How much damage do, does DD do? Okay, decent amount. Woo! Salmon Squad ducking one! Did I not get any experience? Hell yeah. God! <laughs> duck! Come on, we've got to catch up to him. I need, a, yeah, I totally need to make a uh, duck emoji for like moments like this. <laughs> like an angry duck, like an angry anime duck with like, uh, what's that? Like, there's like a hashtag on their forehead or like something similar, like when an anime character is angry. That just has duck exclamation mark and then like an angry duck with that thing on his head. That actually might be a good emoji. <laughs> How did you get three get past my foxy bodyguards? Uh, Stupid uh, robots can't do anything right. Uh, uh, Attack! Oh my god! Duck! We're surrounded! Like fuck like duck! 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 Let's fucking duck! STOP! Okay. Oh my god. Are you serious, game? Why are you gonna throw so many at me at, at like, all at once? Uh, we're gonna have DD just start giving gifts. Cause that's that's all D is supposed to do. Like D is supposed to be my healer. I need to be healing like constantly. Can I get some ducks in the chat? All the ducks! The emojis and the word. What is give live? Oh, revive the party member. Okay, that's really good to remember. Attack. 
take out down these foxies, no problem. Oh god. Yeah, th th I remember this dude is obs like completely obsessed with Foxy. I think in like Day Shifted Freddy's one, there was like multiple times that he like confessed his love to uh, like the fox after like it was destroyed or something. Running in the ducks! Yes! Oh my god. Come on, go down. There you go. Salmon Squad 1. The Salmon Squad, baby. We'll tear down the Phantom Fox in this place if we have to. Phantom Foxy! So yeah, that may be the like, oh, this is like based off of... Okay, we're just gonna like just do like... Multiple, like just a fight in each area. I uh, get away. Attack by foxies. Oh, maybe not. Catch up to that headed bastard. Mark my Ducking. Point. Caught that one. Oh, thank you, Lisa. I appreciate that. Why is he surprised that we're still going at him? Yes, we do. You phone headed dog. I'm not being attacked anymore. Part of me feels like I should say it, but I kind of want to just keep him. I think we're okay. I said, get away! Just leave me alone! He's got to run to a dead end eventually. There you go! Dead end! Do we fight you? Oh, gosh. No way out. So, this is it. I'm cornered, am I? Scott. That's Mr. Coffin to you, employee. Oh, gosh. I was wrong to think I could run away forever. No, that nobody would find me here. Get back, I! Step any closer at all! Scott, you're really trying my patience. Can't you see? This is for your own good. Sir, I'm afraid we aren't leaving. We can't leave. Not until we... So, it's come down to this, eh? Fine. For once, I'm not running away. I'm Scott Coffin, your manager. And you, employee, are fired! Oh, battle. Alright, let's get it! Let's go! Moves, I promise. No, 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 I'm just gonna straight up attack. What is this music? Is this supposed to be a certain song? Is this supposed to be a certain song? I don't think so. I can dig it. Unless anyone can like identify it, I guess. It's super epic, but I'm like, I don't know if this is like supposed to be a meme song or something. Like all the other game, like all the other songs in this game. You know? God, this dude does damage. That's okay though. We got it. I wish the boss had like a life bar that I could see like, okay, how much progress am I making? But I mean, this is like reminds me of like a bunch of like Final Fantasy bosses and things like that. Whoops. Need to give gifts and attack. Yeah, there he goes. I figured that might happen. Oh boy. Um. Yeah, I just gotta attack. Maybe I should have guarded with the purple guy. Might have been a better idea. Oh my god, this dude is doing damage. I hope he's like close to dying at least. Okay, at least he's spreading the love around there. I don't want to have to resort to like the uh, the other moves or like the puppet's move of like revival. Because I can only do it twice. And I'm presuming that's like twice the entire game. God, this thing is doing damage. Oh my god, go down, man. That's not good. Oh my god, go down. I have like two more solid hits in and that's it. Oh my god. Please miss. Woo! Woo! 
It came down to the last hit. It came down to the last hit. Wait, what are you waiting for? Finish me off, why don't ya? Yo, can we get some GGs up in the chat, please? We are here to smash your face in. You dumb phone head. Whoo. Scott. My brother Peter told me about you. He was an old employee of yours. He got caught in a spring lock failure. You sent him off to the factory. I... He told you that? I know what you did to him, sir. Oh, man. I know where the phone guy... Uh, phone guys come from. All phone guys. I know where you came from, too. You were one of the first... Employee. Please. Don't. I know you can't remember if you want to. I know you can't remember if you want to. Your name really isn't Scott. You can't remember your own name. No, I... Employee, what are you... We want to help you, Scott. We need to help you. I... You can't. Not possible. Some people just can't be redeemed. I'm irredeemable. Don't be ridiculous. You think you see good in me? Don't make me laugh. You know what I did to you? And now, you revealed that you know what happened to Peter. I'm defective. Irredeemable. Broken. But we can put you back together. It's not too late. Employee. I just need for you to remember. 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 Remember that moment in uh, Lion King? Remember who you are. Who are you? Is that Peter, I guess? One more hour left. For ending the shift. Five kids over in Utah. That was. What were you thinking? Now I have. Step to... aside. Excuse me? Step aside. I'll be leaving now. What? No, like hell! You just murdered five of our customers during peak business hours. Like hell, I'm letting you leave. I see you want to do this the hard way. Just go call the police. Henry, what the fuck are you doing? Duck! <laughs> Wait, no, I'm in here. Jesus. Quite the tragedy. Yep, it sure is. So what now? Well, I reckon the body's still somewhat intact. Ship him off to Afton Robotics. With a bit of surgery, some patchwork here and there. They'll make him useful again. They'll make him like me. It's the joy of creation, employee. Oh. My. Uh, 
See? Your name was Steven, wasn't it? He wanted to help you, Steven. We want to help you. We ain't leaving you behind. Not now, not ever. Uh, uh. Guys. So you do remember. It's okay. Use your real name. My name is Jack, Steven. It's nice to meet you. Uh, Jack. Uh. Speak to me, Steven. Uh, uh, I... I am... Uh. Use your voice. Your old voice. Your human voice. Jack. There's no saving people like me. I'm a coward. Plain and simple. I threw everyone under the bus to save myself. And look what I have to show for it. I can still save you. You've spent so long pursuing me. Wondering if I can be saved. You never once stopped to ask yourself if I even deserve to be saved. I deserve this. I'm not leaving without you. I won't- we won't give up on you. Jack, I deserve this. You know I deserve this. We aren't giving up on you, Steven. Employee, I just want to go home. Finish my shift. I think we all do at this point. I never wanted any of this to happen. I just figured that somebody else would just fix everything. That things would just sort themselves out. That I'd get to see a happy ending. It's not too late, Steven. We can still have a happy ending. We need you with us to, for that to happen. It's not a real happy ending unless everyone is free. Jack. I made a promise, Steven. I promised an old friend that I'd save everyone. Please, just let us help you. We want to help you. Jack. Dave. I'm so sorry. For all of this. Would, would you do anything to make it up to us? Of course. Whatever it is, name it. To let us save you. You really aren't going to let this go, are you? You've sacrificed too much not to see a true happy ending. You're going to be saved whether you like it or not. Employee, I'm too tired to keep fighting. Then let us save you. You want redemption? Come with us! Yo, I can't read the name, but thank you so much for the subscription. Don't you want to make the world new again? I do. Okay, I'm sick of wallowing in guilt and fear. If you really think that you can put me back together, then I'll follow you guys. That's fantastic news, isn't it, Dave? Dave? Dad, I knew that Henry liked to have a good time and war, but that sounded malicious. Henry Miller acting ma malicious? Oh, how irregular. You don't understand. I... I didn't realize the extent. Did Henry do this at every location? You know, we had, we had a saying at Freddy's, Dave. Maybe you can still remember it. Another location, another tragedy. Back in the day, Henry was the reason we had that saying. Until, you know... Henry disappeared, and you became the new reason why. I... I think I've got some stuff to think about. But, hey, Dave! You said it yourself! We're here to save the unsavable, aren't we? To redeem the irredeemable. Yeah, I know we can do it. Besides, three friends is the most I've ever had at once. <laughs> oh, please. Two friends was a first for you. As if the arrangement our puppet counts. I already regret all of this. Well, I'm glad that ugly business was sorted out. What now? Leave it to us, Sportsy. I'm sure that between the three of us, we can formulate some kind of game plan. Uh, 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 Do we have to negotiate with Dave? Uh, uh, Scrap the plan. I'd like to go back to eternal suffering now, please. Steven, may I remind you that you'll have a phone for a head. Uh, 
Uh, Don't get me wrong, uh, you're correct about uh, that, but uh, what does that uh, have to do with anything? Nothing in particular. I just felt like reminding you. Got him! I better get back to reality. I'm proud of you guys. I'll be back soon. Goodbye, Sportsy. Goodbye, Sportsy. Later, Jack. Uh, uh, Good night, employee. Uh, uh, See you on the flip side. So that's basically, yeah, so is the phone guy gonna be our fourth party member? I'm pretty sure. At least I'm pretty confident that that's what's gonna be happening here. Would you like to save the game? Yes, I would. <sighs> Guys, I am going to call it a night. We're gonna continue this live stream in another, at another time because it's getting kind of late. I'm sure people are uh, kind of tired. Um, I, we still have lots of people watching right now, which is really incredible, but, um, you know, for the sake of making sure that everyone gets enough rest and so that I don't feel like I'm rushing through the game and feeling like I'm experiencing as much as possible, um, we'll probably have a two to three hour live stream to finish this up. Uh, so that is going to be it for this live stream, uh, more or less. So, um, we'll continue. I don't know if, uh, tomorrow... Um, I originally planned on doing a random FNAF, uh, fan game live stream, which a lot of people really, really want. Um, but I might, uh, finish off Day Shifted Freddy's 3 if, if that's, um, if that's a possibility. Like, I'm assuming we're, like, about halfway or a little over halfway, it seems like. Is that right? Is, does that sound about right, uh, to you guys? So... Um, tomorrow I'm definitely going to be, uh, live streaming after, there's a, there's a Pokemon Go community event, so it'll be after that, <laughs> at least in the Americas, um, I, well, I think England's, or like the, I know it's happening in the world right now, anyways, I know a lot of you don't really care about Pokemon, but guys, that is gonna be it, um, y'all like a little serenade of Ocean Man before we go? Yeah, the Pokemon event tomorrow is gonna be awesome. If you don't play Pokemon, if you don't play Pokemon Go anymore, re-download it because it's a, uh, it is a great. It like it, it's it's no longer boring, I guess. Like some people thought it was like super super boring. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna do it with a little background here. So we saved right here. Hold on, let me just double check that we saved. Uh oh, what do I do? Oh, did I press negative? Yeah! Despite music, man! No, it's spoilers for the next stream! No! 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 That's fine. <laughs> I'll leave you with this. Ocean man, take me by the hand, lead me to the land that you understand. Ocean man, voyage to the corner of the globe is a real trip. Ocean man, the crust of a tan, man and bite by the sand. Soaking up the thirst of the land. Ocean man, can you see through the wonder of amazement at the Oba man? Ocean man, man. Ocean man, the crust is elusive when it casts forth. To the childlike man, ocean man, the sequence of a life, life form raised in the sand, soaking up the thirst of the land, ocean man. Guys, that is going to be it. I love you. You're all amazing, wonderful people. Thank you so much for hanging out with me super late this live stream, and I totally don't have a headache anymore uh, like I did this stream. This stream was just way too much fun. And, uh, I mean, I don't know what I would do without you guys. You guys are incredible. Thank you for 71,000 subscribers. We just hit that milestone, um, about, uh, 24 hours ago. So, one more step closer to 100,000 subscribers. So, go out there, make someone's day, be happy, stay happy. I'll see you guys later. Goodbye.